Tone bite, no I'm tone bite, no I'm tone bite. We back, Ratchet Gang. We back with another one. We back with another banger. Let's get the likes up. Look, you might have forgot. Hell, they might have forgot. But you already know it's the king. Too loyal, no I'm tone bite, Ratchet TV. Hey, I y'all already know, man. Y'all already know. Get the likes up if you in the building. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Tap that notification bell so you can get the drop whenever I drop. I right, so boom. Man, 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 man. We got to talk, Ratchet Gang. Look, we got to chop it up. Tonight, we have to talk about this solar eclipse again. We got to chop it up about CERN heavily tonight. I'm going to be real with y'all. We going in on CERN tonight. We are going in on the whole theory of the flat earth. I know a lot of people don't like this. They, oh man, all oh, y'all are some conspiracy theorists. Well, you know, it's it's easy to say someone is a conspiracy theorist when you just don't want to fact check or you don't want to do any research of your own. You just want to go off of whatever narrative anybody ever presented to you. And I'm just showing y'all a lot of things that we've been taught. It's been a lie. Is the earth flat or round? Flat, round. I just want y'all to tell me before we get this show started. I'm going to do a poll in the chat. Is the earth flat or round? I want to know from everybody in the chat, what do y'all believe? There's a lot of people who say this channel is filled with flat earthers. We got nothing but flat earthers over here. Whoop de whoop de whoop. It's okay. We about to expose a lot tonight. We're going to let them call us whatever they want to. 
but they ain't gonna call us uh dumb. That's what they ain't gonna call us because we we are far from that. Get the likes up as you enter the building, y'all. We're gonna break this all down tonight, allegedly. Allegedly, and everything I say is alleged, and it's all under the fair use act. And you can see the fair use disclaimer in the description of this video and in the description of all my videos. This is just for entertainment and educational purposes only. This is just to educate my people on what we've been covering over here. Like I said, it's all under the Fair Use Act. And you can see the Fair Use Disclaimer in the description of this video. And everything I say is alleged. Allegedly. Allegedly, y'all. All right. How does my audio sound? Am I crispy? Let me know. Is the audio good? Let me know in the chat before we get things started. But we are going to jump straight into it. I know that a lot of people been tuning into this platform because we have been given some of the best coverage. And matter of fact, I'm going to be honest. I don't know that too many people are even having this conversation. Like, I don't believe that many. I haven't seen it, so I don't know. I don't watch a lot of anything, though, so I wouldn't know. Y'all tell me. I don't believe anybody else is having these conversations, though. I think that this is something important that people didn't even know that they cared about until it happened. And it's like, oh, shit, man, there's a whole... There's a whole thousands of people over here talking about something I'm interested in. Get the likes up. Subscribe to the channel. We about to go there tonight. If the audio is crispy, drop the demon emojis, purple demons, drop the uh, purple hearts. Drop me something to let me know we crispy. Salute brown skin girl on that 20 piece McNugget. That's how you start off the show. You got to start off with a 20 piece McNugget. Salute to brown skin girl. I appreciate you. Salute, salute, salute. All right. Are y'all ready? Without without any further interruption i'm not even gonna be in the way tonight i'm about to just get straight to it we don't have we ain't got much time to waste well actually we got all the time in the world allegedly but you know that's neither here nor there let's get into it let's get into this real quick my guy now what we not finna do is play with god's word now if god said he laid the earth on his foundations and put a firmament over us then that's exactly what he did See, in the Bible, God told Isaiah the difference between a ball and a circle. God knew exactly what wordplay he was using in the Bible to describe the earth. In the Bible, God also speaks about the four corners of the earth. A ball does not have corners, but a flat surface do. Now, when I say four corners of the earth, this is what I mean. The same way that man made a compass, a circle compass, Get the likes up, y'all. Get the likes up. We we going there tonight. Like I said, we're going to have that conversation that a lot of people scared to have tonight. We're going to go there and we're going to have the conversation. We're not afraid to have any conversations on this platform. And put north, east, south, and west. I'm speaking of exactly that. God also says in the Bible that he set a compass upon the face of the earth. Now, remember when I said that God made the earth as a compass? Okay, so let's talk about it. Now, the compass only recognizes north. North always points towards the center. Hint, the North Pole. Any mm. And if you notice that, there's a lot of facts to this. There's a lot of facts to this. And now just stay woke, y'all. I want y'all to stay woke, pay attention. Like I said, we're going to have those tough conversations on this platform. It, it has to be done. We have to have the tough conversations, guys. Any other direction is only based off the direction of north. How could a compass point south on a globe if they are saying that south is downwards? East and west are curved lines that constantly readjust to align with north. So y'all question is, how come when I'm flying in a plane, I end up in the same place I came from? Well, that only happens with east and west. So if you say that, that you circled the whole world and ended up in the same place, that's because you were going east and west. Does that make sense to anybody in the room? Does that make sense? We got a thousand people in here already. We just getting started. We already got a thousand people in here. I want everybody to share this live. I need everybody to go ahead and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Get over here. Check out Ratchet TV. Subscribe to the channel and like the video. But let me tell you something. Traveling south is a whole different ball game. See, because south is any direction leaving the center. See, because if you begin to head south, you will reach the Antarctica ice wall. So traveling south, you will never end up back at the same place. See, Does that make sense now? If you travel south, there's no way that you could end up in the same spot. See, but nobody wants you to really travel south, allegedly. Allegedly, they're trying to keep us out of traveling to the real south, which is the South Pole. And that's the end of the world, where allegedly there's an ice wall, a firmament. 
and, and you cannot get out of it. There's no escaping it. You can't, you, if you wanted to, you couldn't. So everything they've been telling you is BS, but we're not, we not done yet. We got a lot more to go. We're going to be here for about two, two and a half hours covering content tonight. I, I'm going to be real with y'all. We're going to be here for a while tonight. It might be another three hour show. Because there's a reason they won't allow y'all to travel south and end up at the ice wall. Like, bruh, come on. Even the compass don't want you traveling south. That's why it always points back to north, telling you to turn around every time you start to travel south. See, because if you decide to keep going and get past that ice wall, you will realize there is, in fact, a firmament over us, keeping anyone from leaving this earth. We couldn't be living in a globe if we wanted to. See, water has to be contained. They say that the earth is 71% water, so that by itself would be impossible. So let's stop it again right there. If the if we're built up off 71 or how much ever percent the earth is filled up of water. They, they explain it. Somebody in the room explain it to the round earthers. You know, I, I don't care what you which one, you know. I'm not here to convince anybody of anything. I'm just here to, you know, what I'm saying spread this word, man. That's all I'm here to do. Spread this message and get this out to the people. Let's go. And I know y'all probably be wondering, where do rainbows come from? Now, scientists will tell you they self. To make a rainbow, you need water, light, and a mirror. Okay. Explain that. How can you make a rainbow without water, light, and a mirror? Explain that, guys. So I, I just want everybody to explain to me, because I'm, I'm going to be real. This video is very, very interesting. And it, it makes you think like, hmm, hold on, thug. See, when God said he created the firmament, he spread it out like a molten looking glass. See them big rainbows that you see is proof that we live underneath the firmament. It's the sunlight reflecting off of the firmament to remind us of his promise to never flood the earth again. See, God said he set the earth on its foundations so that it should never be moved. So, like I said, a lot of people go against what the word is a lot of people go around and they say whatever whatever but they want to go against what the real word is versus what they believe it's like okay how can you tell me you so you better than god himself you you telling me you got it figured out and he didn't know what the hell he was talking about right okay let's continue but scientists are saying that we are spinning and moving a thousand and forty miles per hour and in 1927 we had no idea what the earth looked like but created this picture Explain that. If you don't know what the earth looked like, then how the hell did you come up with this to create this? Now, all of a sudden, in 1997, they go see the earth and it looked exactly like that picture. No. Now, do y'all know who this man is? You probably don't, but let's continue. Let's continue. One of the first to discover Antarctica. Hmm. Probably not. But this is Richard E. Byrd. He was one of the first to discover Antarctica. In 1928, see, he found evidence of the flat earth with the firmament over us. Even in his diaries and writings, he said it. See, he traveled all the way to the four corners of the earth. Mm. See, they don't they don't tell you the real history, allegedly. They it's like they don't want you to know what really went on, even with the Christopher see, when he even with the Christopher Columbus bull, bull crap. I mean, you know, that's, that's a story for another day. That's a whole story for another day. But the, we've been lied to for, for the from the beginning of time. Don't trust man. Trust the word. man. He found this discovery. What did our government do? They all went down to Antarctica three years later to claim a piece of it and to keep the truth hidden from us. There you go right there. As soon as this man came out and said he knew exactly what this play was and everybody been lied to and he figured out the truth. Allegedly, we went down there and said, you know what? This is ours. Y'all can't come over here no more. That's why the Antarctica ice wall today is just like Area 51. Nobody could go there. Why is that? Why can, not, why can we not go to the ice wall? Somebody tell me if, they, if, if it, the earth is round or whatever, why are we stuck and we can't go? And you are basically telling us, nah, you can't go past this point right here. You can't go in Area 51. You can't go to the edge of the earth. You can't do nothing. That we, why y'all be babysitting everything, bro? Are they hiding the truth? See, because that's what it seems like. Because that's what it is. See, and they just keep telling y'all all these lies and y'all just get brainwashed by it. They tell y'all they fly to the moon. 
See, because my question is, how you going to fly to the moon when God said he made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night? And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. Let's continue. Meaning that the moon and the sun ain't even solid objects. Hmm. So if the moon and the sun are not solid objects, how did we land on it? I'm trying to tell y'all and explain that it's all been BS. Allegedly. Allegedly, all this stuff that we've been, it just doesn't make sense. When I looked up in that sky yesterday and I seen what I seen and everybody told me they seen what they seen, I began to wonder, and I got something for y'all from, from, from that too. I got an explanation for what we was witnessing yesterday. I found out what we was witnessing yesterday, but I'm going to show y'all. Let's continue. They're luminary. You can't just go up there and land on it. Like, come on, bro. Everybody know that that landing was fake. The flag up there waving. You could see a shadow on the moon. Y'all talking about the stars is outer space, but in the videos and in the pictures, there's no stars in space. See, because y'all going to have to do more than that to convince me. Because in Romans 3 and 4, God said, let y'all be the truth and every man a liar. But I know y'all going to ask me, Anaya, how do sunsets work if the earth is flat? See, in Job 9 and 7, God says, who commands the sun and it does not rise? See, on y'all's globe earth, y'all believe that the sun is setting and rising. But in reality, it's all just about perspective. So does this start? Is this making sense to y'all? Drop the gems if it is. Drop the caps if you're not getting it. Drop the gems if you understand it and you following along with this whole theory with the finger quotes. You can't see my fingers, but I got the finger quotes of this whole theory, right? Let's go. For example, have y'all ever heard of a vanishing point? See, because in reality, the sun and the moon are not setting and rising. They are rotating. See, because the farther that is getting away from us to rotate around the earth, it's seeming as if it's going down. And the closer that is getting from making its way back around to us, it seems as if it's rising. It's all due to perspective from where we're at. Allegedly, y'all. Check this out. Check this out, gang. So, over the flat earth, right? Viewed from above. Making sense? Is that making sense to everybody in the room? I'm just saying. Okay, so y'all like, yeah, nah, I mean, that sound good. But how do seasons work then? See, what I need y'all to know is that the sun and the moon are actually closer than what they are telling y'all. The sun and the moon are inside the firmament with us. See, electromagnetism actually perfectly explains how the sun and the moon rotates on Earth. It, it, as you can see right here, y'all, this is making perfect sense, man. And it's, it, it goes to show you they just lie. They just lie and deny. See, the sun and the moon are not rock or gas. They're light sources. Now, these light sources are in the shape of a disc that rotate the earth like a clock, but in a coil-like spiral, dictating the seasons and the climate as it goes. See, now, when the sun is beyond the equator ring, the northern hemisphere experiences summer, and the southern hemisphere experiences winter. Inversely, when below the equator ring, the southern hemisphere will experience summer, in the northern hemisphere, we experience winter. They got y'all thinking that there's life beyond the earth. There is no space. There is no other planets out there. God says he sits at the top of the firmament. Those planets that y'all are seeing in those telescopes, those are called wandering stars. Hmm. So now, allegedly, this video says there are no planets. Those are just wandering stars. Could that be correct? I don't know. I'm just here to just pass along messages, man. I... I ain't here to convince nobody. Let's go. All of these are light sources. They are not solid objects. All right, Anaya, so how does a solar eclipse work on a flat Earth? And why can't we see stars during an eclipse of the sun and the moon? See, God says an eclipse is the sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and glorious days of the Lord. As so, see, a solar eclipse happens when the sun and the moon decides to rotate over each other. Man, man, man. Now it's starting to make sense. Now it's starting to make sense. As so. Okay, so why can't we see stars during a solar eclipse? See, God says immediately after the distress.
Did y'all see how it was rotating though? So if you want to know about the flat earth, if you listen Days to of it, the Lord. look at this. As so, the solar eclipse happens when the sun and the moon decides to rotate over each other. Now pay attention to this. If it's a flat earth, this would make sense. Look at it. That would make sense. Because that's what we would be looking at from down there. That's what we would be looking at. The sun, the moon covers it, rotates. That's what we would be looking at. Not what we seen yesterday. As so. Okay, so why can't we see stars during a solar eclipse? See, God says immediately after the distress of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from the sky and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. So why can't you see stars during a solar eclipse? His word tells you everything you need to know. And did y'all notice you didn't see no stars yesterday? There ain't no, this shit is all, it's starting to make me think, bro. Oh, I already know they control weather, they control a lot, but it's just showing me y'all are now trying to gain control of earth. And that's why y'all are going for the God particles. Y'all are trying to control earth now. Y'all want to control the seasons. Y'all want to control the rotation of the sun. It's like they figure, man, look, we here, we, we smarter than everything. We building machines that's going to control the world for us. That's why robots are coming here. That's why they, they already told y'all in the Jetsons cars was going to be flying. They already predicted predictive, pro, predictive programming. They programmed us. We've been programmed. Wake up. Eight hours. Go to school, work, go to lunch break, go here, come back home, cook, do the same thing. It's, you've been programmed to think that was normal life, not realizing you were caught up in a matrix and they were controlling you. But when you break free of the matrix is when they try to come for you. But that's a story for another day. Let's continue. There is nothing outside the firmament that they know of because they can't get past the firmament. God tells us he placed water above the firmament. All these people didn't have the same vision for no reason. There was many times that they have snitched on themselves, saying that they never been outside the earth, saying that there's nowhere to go, saying that they never been to the moon for real. They even be putting the truth into the cartoons. They are steady trying to break the firmament. They trying to nuke the firmament, sending rockets up there to break the firmament. Is that what they're doing, y'all? Allegedly sending rockets up there to break this shit? I mean, what is going on, gang? What is going on with this? They trying everything in their power. And as a matter of fact, my next video, I'm going to be showing y'all videos of them really saying they ain't never been to the moon. I'm going to be showing y'all videos of them trying to nuke the firmament, them trying to send rockets to the firmament, and even putting hidden truth into these cartoons and movies. These people know exactly what they are doing. And they know exactly, exactly what the firmament is. I'm telling y'all, that's exactly the reason why we can't go to the Antarctica ice wall. You can't fly over it. You can't do nothing. They don't want you seeing nothing. And that's true. I told y'all yesterday, you are not allowed to fly over it. You can't have access to the end and the edge of the world. It's because it's flat. I'm trying to tell y'all, but you know, it's neither here nor there. Knowing nothing. Because they know once we find out that there is an end to this earth, that we going to know the Bible is the true history of this world and i want y'all to know that there is no other planets outside of this firmament when god said he created the earth i'm pretty sure he would have said i created saturn mars neptune and venus he calls those wandering stars and i want to tell y'all so bad what stars are but y'all can just see it in the next video because i don't have time to ask man 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 this is this is making perfect sense to me i'm gonna be real this video had me like hold on man damn that's that makes a lot of sense i had to start the show off with this actually one. explain it right now because i only have 10 minutes on tiktok but when i tell y'all the truth about stars it's gonna blow your mind see because what i want y'all to know is back in the day in them old bibles before all the wordings was getting changed into their own interpretation in second samuel 11 and 11 it said that the earth was flat, but that was before they started changing everything so people wouldn't know the truth. See, it says right there upon the flat earth. I'm trying to tell y'all, man, this stuff, they don't want the truth to come out, though, man. And that's why God said those who took away from his word and added to his word will be greatly punished. So the whole point to this video is 
Let y'all be the truth and every man. You know what I'm saying? It, it is what it is, y'all. It is what it is. So that's how we start the show off. What do y'all think about that video? That's a hell of a way to start the show off, right? That is one hell of a way to get this entire show started off. Now, let's continue. Because like I said, we was viewing images yesterday. And we came across a lot. This is It, it was just weird that everybody around the world was just seeing so many different images of the alleged moon covering up the sun. And I just found it. I was appalled because they really did this and played in everybody's face. And I noticed it when I was outside yesterday. See, I was never going to, y'all talked me into doing it. So I want to thank y'all. I, I had no intention on ever going out to check out this eclipse. I wasn't thinking about doing it. I was going to cover it a different way online. Ratchet gang was like, Ratchet, go out there. I was like, y'all, what? Y'all really want me to go out there and do this? Uh, for real? Everybody was like, yeah. So I was like, okay, fuck it. I'm going to go out there and I'll cover it for y'all. It was a last minute thing. I did it. And when I witnessed what I witnessed, I knew everything that we've been taught was a lie. As soon as I really saw the play, I knew that everything that we have been taught was a lie. I watched this in real time. You can't tell me what the fuck this was. Matter of fact, let me show this video. Before I continue, I got a video I want to show y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I dropped this video on Instagram earlier. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all this shit I dropped on Instagram. Now, this is going to put a lot in perspective for y'all. Now, check this out. Now, watch this. Man, 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 man. Let me go over here. All right, check this out. Now, watch this, y'all. Just recently finding out why can't we see the moon. And I was scrolling through TikTok and boom, I found someone posted where was the moon while the solar was going. Check this out. If the eclipse is right here. And notice these are through the glasses. So when you start seeing it go from night to day, it's because they were looking through the glasses that everybody was supposed to look through yesterday. Yeah. Then why is the moon over there? Oh, wait. What? How does that happen? Because we're in the middle. If the but Wait. look, the moon is right there in front Wait. of the sun. Wait. But the moon is over here. Why is the moon right there? If it's supposed to be in front of the sun. Here, I'm using these right here. That is that's insane. Do you see that? If the moon is right there in front of the sun, then why is it over there? Now explain that. Explain that, guys. I want everybody to explain that one. Because a lot of people feel like they got all the answers. Now answer that one. Why was the moon over there if it was over there? How was the moon in two places? How was the moon in two different places? That's what I want to know. Salute K. Lauren Lee on that five piece. I appreciate you. Salute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google that. That can't be or the flat earth. I don't know. And also, are the flat earthers right? Are the flat earthers right? Are are we are we? So look, there's been someone who's been exposing CERN. I've been playing the videos. You know of the guy that's on TikTok and I show the videos and he's like record. Well, someone is recording him from a phone and he's in jail. It's a, it's an African American dude with with dreadlocks. And he's uh, talking about CERN and, and the eclipse and he's exposing all this stuff that they got going on. Right. Y'all know who I'm talking about. I've been showing him for the past couple of days. So his people reached out to me. He's in jail now and they his lawyers completely screwed him over. I'm going to take on his story and I'm going to cover his story. I also have an interview set up with him. So, yeah, we're definitely going to move forward with his story and definitely his coverage of CERN and the whole debacle with the, he found himself in some shit and they won't let him out, but we're going to get to his story and we're going to talk about it. So just, we'll, we'll get to that. Yeah. Rashad, there you go. You know who I'm talking about. We're going to get to him. We're going to get to him. So he's been uncovering a lot about CERN and a lot. He knows a lot about this stuff. And I already got the interview lined up with him today. I talked to his people today. So we're going to uh, we probably going to end up doing that tomorrow. Maybe I'll, I'll let y'all know that it, it, it's probably going to be tomorrow. So definitely we're going to get into that. Salute to God's son for that 20 piece McNugget. I appreciate you, God's son. Salute, salute, salute. Salute to everybody who donates to the channel. 
All right, so we got to get into these videos, man. We got to get into these videos. I got a whole list of videos for us today, and we are about to we about to get started, man. I think they mad at us over here, and because I I believe they realize we starting to wake up. Now I want y'all to check out some some crazy stuff. I, you know, I've been I've just been nonstop researching, and I just find a bunch of crazy stuff. And we talk about it. Let's talk. Let's talk about this solar eclipse light shining through a jar filled with distilled water. What happens? So I'm not crazy, but is the solar eclipse light? Is there an emblem on the jar? No. No emblem. The way the light's shining through. And there is figure of a man. You can't tell me that that is not a figure of a man coming in through light waves from the solar eclipse. Pause. You see that? Do you guys see it or am I just, am I just like nuts? Do y'all see it or is she nuts? Is she tripping? Do you guys see that or am I nuts? Is she tripping? I come down here to show halls, but like, so this is, there we go, guys. Look at that. Ohio. Holy. But anyways, this is the light shining from the solar eclipse. Do you guys, you guys see that, right? It's not just me. Man, 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 man. Please tell me you see that. We see it. Oh, we see it. All right. Trust me and believe me. We can see it. And we believe it because I've been trying to explain they playing with us. I keep trying to tell you they are playing with us. Now, let us continue. You might get freaked out tonight like always, but it is what it is. This is there all is something more supernatural. That's the machine right there. That's that big underground machine. It's way underground, 90 meters below ground at CERN. Listen to this. Show. The drawing board at CERN than what is being admitted. The LHC CERN are expecting to find other dimensions and open portals to these dimensions. Uh, if you have the image of Stargate in your head right now, you're spot on. That's what he said. And they've been playing in everybody's face. Y'all remember this? Y'all remember this? Stay out, gang. Out of this door might come something, or we might send something through it. Now, prophecy in numerous parts of the Bible refer to a coming day when portals will be opened. Portals will be opened one day. And I believe yesterday was the day that portals were opened into earth and out of earth and spiritual entities are going to pass through and come to the earth now if that's true and if those verses well in our generation because they did it back in the day are accepted for their literal meaning and not written off as some kind of poetic allegory as some scholars have claimed then the idea of cern playing with gateways is a major concern that's facts it's a major concern for cern it's a major concern we should be concerned about cern what do y'all think? Do we have any people who rock with CERN? I don't know. Does anybody like CERN in the building? I don't know, man. What What are y'all thoughts of CERN? If you raise your hand, if you fucking with CERN, though, raise your hand in the building if you like CERN. I wanted to talk to you about CERN. Is CERN learning anything from ancient Egypt? CERN is the LHC, the Large Hadron Collider. It's the largest machine in the world located in Switzerland, and it's all underground, and it uses this gigantic track, this underground tube that's connected, and they send atoms in opposite directions and speed them up to a percentage of the speed of light and then let them collide. They Salute to American Girl says, I have spent much of my life in conspiracy truth town once called crazy i now have the same people asking questions blessing my friend you want to know how crazy that is it's because before i started doing youtube and before i gained all the notoriety popularity whatever i used to talk to my family about this kind of stuff they would be like shut up bro you're weird you are weird what are you talking you're a conspiracy theorist bro you're weird as hell ain't nobody thinking about that shit get on they wouldn't even listen to me now the, the people be hitting me, hey man, what so what's going on? Nah, y'all see y'all thought I was playing. 
Don't try to ask me for <laughs> salute to Cherry Jeep and that membership. I appreciate you. Analyze the collision to see what comes out of this collision between atoms. But something else they discover in this in the process is that they create microscopic black holes. In my opinion, again, this is nothing that I've read, but my hypothesis is that part of the work going on at CERN is to learn how to create stable wormholes. What Einstein and Rosen called an Einstein Rosen bridge, where you take space and you fold it, punch a hole in between to make a connection, a shortcut through space. Man, 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 man. So they're trying to make a shortcut through space at CERN. Trying to make a shortcut through space. They're trying to figure out a way out of this firmament. They're trying to get up out of here. They're like, hey, man, look, we trapped up in here. Maybe if we create a portal, maybe if we create a portal, we can we can get this popping, man. We can get up out of here, dog. Let's go. I told y'all all the animals, birds, fish, everything has just been acting real, real sketchy. All the animals have been acting real weird since that since that portal allegedly opened up. Since that weird ass eclipse happened and nobody can explain what it was. And you got the other people who think we're conspiracy theorists looking on like, oh, no, nah, man. See, the thing was, man, y'all needed glasses, man. Oh, that's what it was. Salute to Mika. Chan, I appreciate you for getting that membership. Salute to you. I appreciate you. Salute, salute. No, man, see, you need the glasses, man. See, if you didn't have the glasses, it didn't make sense. No, you wanted me to wear those glasses to block out the moon. You know, you wanted me to wear the glasses so we couldn't see the real moon was still out. And then the fake moon popped up. And then whatever play y'all just ran on the sun to cover that sun up, now we know what it is. So y'all now know how to block the sun. That's the thing I think y'all was trying to figure out. Okay, now we can block the sun and we can go into to total darkness if we need to. We can just pretend like it's not even here no more. We can just pretend like we in total. Oh, we got it now. So that's what they was doing. That's what they was doing yesterday, man. I'm going to be real with y'all. Yesterday, they was sitting here. Oh, man, we didn't figure it out. Now we can cover up the sun. It's easy. Now the sun is covered up. They can't do nothing about it now. All right. So let's continue, man. We're not done. Look at this. I want to show y'all some more crazy stuff that's been happening around the world. We almost got 3,000 people in here, y'all. We almost got 3,000 people in here. Let's get the let's get the likes up. I noticed right away because I walk here. Look at this, y'all. Yeah, that... After the eclipse, a mysterious giant axe appears in the side of a building. Was this a glitch in the Matrix? How did this big-ass X figure get up here in this damn building this is gonna go viral i mean i walk here every day and i know i don't see that trust me what the it fuck? looks like i don't know what the fuck that is what it almost like looks like it's like not real and no one said anything today about it, yeah, it, said shit about it. what i noticed right away because i walk here all the time yeah could that so, what do y'all think about that? A giant axe appeared in in a building right after the uh, eclipse. As soon as the eclipse ended, it was a giant axe in this in this building. Looking this right by somebody's window, man. How the hell did this happen? How did that happen? And they said it wasn't there before. The security guard was even like, bro, ain't nobody said nothing about this all day. I don't know what the hell. You know, security like, this out of my pay grade, man. Call the police. I don't know what the hell this is. <laughs> this out of my pay grade. I ain't got nothing to do with that. So let's continue. Let us continue with this coverage. Hold on. We are not done, gang. Let's continue. Man, man, man. Friends demonic opening ceremony. <laughs> It says, LOL, that wild stuff. Most people call it science. This is CERN. This is CERN, y'all. What in the hell is going on here at CERN? You can't make this up. Like I said, bro, they into some crazy stuff over there. I don't know who these people are, what they got going on, man. I'm going to be real. They starting to, I'm, I got my side eye on them, man.
What is this, y'all? What the fuck is going on? Somebody explain this to me. This this is CERN. This is what they call science, allegedly. These are some bizarre experiments happening in Switzerland. I mean, like, what the heck was it? That was in Switzerland at the headquarters. CERN, dark matter, and the solar eclipse. This was happening in Switzerland. This, was, this is what was going on in Switzerland at their headquarters. See, CERN was ready to launch their attack. And, uh, well, launch their, relaunch their, I don't even know what to call it, program? I don't know. Relaunch, well, CERN was ready to relaunch, and this is what was going on in the relaunch. I don't know. They was out there, hey, had a whole ritual planned for us yesterday. Like, look, we got some for, for their ass over there in the U.S. That, that we, we just saw. I mean, this is science? Is this anything scientific about this? I mean, was that bathroom that we saw prancing around? I mean, come on. Some bizarre experiments indeed happening in Switzerland. Honestly, they shouldn't be ignored. Between the new Gothard Tunnel and the CERN Particle Accelerator in Geneva, the fact that they feel the need to open these experimental facilities with these satanic opening ceremonies. And they did. That was an opening ceremony. That was yesterday's opening ceremony to relaunch CERN. Those were the images from the relaunch of CERN. That was the relaunch party. That was the opening ceremony to let everybody know, like, we're back. <laughs> I don't know who we is because I ain't a part of it, but I'm just saying that's what they were saying. They were saying, well, hey, we back. Well, I don't know who. I don't know. Man. I, I don't know. That's some weird shit. Please, let's you know exactly who they serve. The fact that they feel the need to open these experimental facilities with these satanic opening ceremonies lets you know exactly who they serve. So I hope it ain't no secret now. I hope it ain't no secret now what, what CERN got going on. I've been trying to tell y'all, we playing with some, we playing with some dangerous people, man. I'm just gonna call it what it is. We are playing with some dangerous, dangerous people, man. They got this shit figured out too, boy. They got this shit figured out. Boy, they harvesting the hell out of some energy, ain't they? Look at all them damn trails in the sky. Hey, what was y'all playing? Tic-tac-toe up here? Y'all, boy, they made this shit suspenseful, too. But, hey, we need more clouds. No, no, no. That wasn't enough. More. Scramble them. We need the, we need the clouds scrambling and scraping in the air. We want all the clouds in the air scraping and scrambling. everybody out there just eating this shit up too boy they are harvesting this was the biggest energy harvest that the world has probably ever seen they got everybody too Was your image y'all what do y'all think man what do y'all think were we bamboozled yesterday i swear we was this was some, man they got they got one over on everybody Shit is crazy, right? And then the crazy part is, it was, oh, yeah, you could hear some of the newscasters yesterday. Yet yeah, there was about 25 seconds. How the hell are you going to tell the moon when it's going to dip off? Like, how y'all predicting? Like, come on, like 10, 9, 8. So, like, how are you going to count this down? You don't know how long. The, what is, 
How are you gonna just determine where to come on, fam? This shit is all play play. Prominences. Yes, Look at those prominences. So cool. Whoa. Look at this shit, y'all. What tell me what y'all what are y'all thoughts of this, man? What what are you guys' thoughts of this? Let me know. Get any more focused than this. Oh my goodness. This is focused. That is perfectly focused. Look at that beauty. Wow, that is freaking insane. Back up. <laughs> This is so cool. What's that? What is that? Back up. This is so cool. What's that? What is that? Back up. This is so cool. What's that? What is that? Man, man, man. Some scary stuff going on around the world, man. Everybody been witnessing a bunch of scary activities going on. Been a bunch of weird shit, man. What is what is all this, man? What is all this? And what is the meaning of it? Because it can't be what they're saying it is. I can only think of something demonic, man. That's only I could just think of something demonic is going on, and the rest of this year is gonna be maybe hell on earth, man. It's, it's gonna be some wild events that are here to come on earth. For the rest of this year that's just what i believe i think something crazy is about to happen here in the next two to three months i think we're gonna witness some crazy stuff take place in real time in front of everybody it's gonna be televised too you you Absolutely wait and see mind-blowing stay focused you 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 wait and see you just wait and see y'all it's gonna be something to come all right we're not done though. we got a lot more to talk about tonight man what do y'all think about that though all right so let's continue let's get to the next video let me get to this next one. All right, let's check out this. Let's check out what's going on over here at CERN. Some more on CERN. What they're doing at CERN is they are messing with the fabric of the Earth. The, that's, that's the universe, pretty serious, not just the yeah. Earth. I mean, they are trying to understand how the universe was created. And, you know, they discovered the God particle, the Higgs boson, and all that a few years back, which do you know the crazy do you know about the Higgs boson and the God particle? I know about the God particle. But do you know, like, do you know about the Simpsons and the God particle? No. What? Okay. So oh, shit. The Simpsons. CERN and the Simpsons. What the Simpsons then found themselves in this time, y'all. This is crazy. And, <laughs> yeah. you know, I'm sure you've seen, like, the Simpsons stuff throughout the years. You know, the Simpsons yeah, yeah, yeah. predict, you know, whatever. Well, the Higgs boson, the God particle. Yeah. Like, I don't know how many years it was before, but it was... A handful of years before they discovered okay. it, uh, it was either Bart or Homer. I can't remember. I think it was Bart because it was written on a chalkboard. But they were talking about the God particle, and they had an equation on the chalkboard on the Simpsons. And the equation was like not three letters. I'm talking about a yeah, chalkboard yeah. full, and it was the exact equation that was the God particle and the Higgs boson. And I do remember that. I think they were like one number off or something like that. If I'm not mistaken, the Simpsons predicted damn near the God particle. They were like one fraction off. So I can't remember distinctly exactly how far they were off, but I know it was like they were so spot on. They didn't figure it out, but they damn near, all they had to do was like replace one number in the God particle was figured out with the equation from the Simpsons. I do remember that. Let's continue. Bruh. See, now I thought I was tripping earlier because the brother had tossed a few back and then I look in the sky and I thought I seen something fly by, but I was like, all right, hold on. Maybe I'm seeing things. Just to get on TikTok to see that I'm not tripping. Other people seeing the same shit. And it's like, oh, here we go. And I don't know if you guys heard about CERN and how they're supposed to be activating this particle accelerator that's supposed to be getting a better understanding of the universe. However, they were previously denied the activation of this machine because of the possibility of it opening a possible hole in the atmosphere. 
enter or whatever have you and allowing certain entities to enter. And now all of a sudden in 2024, they activate the machine and we got shit flying through the sky. And it's like, what the hell? Which is low key, no surprise, coming from a company that has a logo with three sixes in it and a statue of Shiva the Destroyer in front of the building, who is a Hindu god that is supposed to destroy the universe in the end of days. Go figure. But I don't know, man. Stuff just seems a little crazy to me. And it's like, damn, man, can y'all just stop messing with stuff? Like, leave shit alone. But it is what it is. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Peace and love. I'm going to tell you what I think. I think it's some crazy shit going on. I think some maniacs then found themselves in place of everything. That's what I'm starting to think. I'm starting to think some maniacs then fa found themselves in place of everything. And, and it's starting to get crazy because I feel these people feel that they are bigger than God. That's just my thoughts. That's just my thoughts, my theory. They think that they are bigger than God. But like I said, everybody was just seeing weird stuff yesterday. It was it was just too much weird activity going on for me yesterday, man. Like I said, it, people started seeing the, and then if you look closely right up in there, start to see a, I don't know, man. There's some weird shit going on, man. What y'all think? It, it it was just a bunch of weird images. Every everybody was showing me yesterday. Let's let's continue this. Hold on. So this is Dallas yesterday. This was Dallas yesterday, and y'all know I'm in Dallas. And a lot of people said, see, now I was, y'all remember what I, what, what my screen showed, right? Y'all remember what my screen showed? Now this was Dallas. Look, nothing like this where I was at. Nothing like this where I was at. Let's just call it what it is, man. It, it, this didn't look nothing like this where I was at. So this, this was Dallas and this is what went on out there in Dallas. Didn't happen where I was at. Y'all was on the damn live with me. None of this happened where I was at. So how is it that Dallas was getting this and I was looking at the same sky y'all were looking at? We all was looking at the same sky yesterday. So if you was getting this sky, why my sky look different? Why my sun and sky look different on my end than it did in Dallas? That's what I want to know. My sun and my sky look different. Did y'all see this on my screen yesterday? My screen looked nothing like this yesterday. This is what I'm 30 minutes from Dallas. Why my screen didn't do this yesterday? And this ain't looking out no damn glasses. This is looking with the naked eye. So how the hell did you see this with the naked eye? And I couldn't see nothing with mine. I was on live stream when I was watching it. I had the live screen pointed to the sun the whole time. You never saw this. You never saw this yesterday. It's at different angles. Man, I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear that. It didn't even get dark like that where I was at. Ain't no damn different angle. We looking at the same sun, man. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear nothing about no different angle, man. Look, that's what mine looked like the entire time yesterday. Talking about a different angle. Come on, man. Come on. I don't want to talk about no different angles. That I don't want to hear. That's just something I don't want to hear. But let's continue. Hold on. Let's get to this next video. Let's get to this one. Well, What is this? So explain this then. How you gonna explain it? What the hell is this? I guess this was a different angle too. So I guess this was a different angle. Say so you was not in Dallas. Man, I don't gotta explain where the hell I'm at. Fam. Everybody on my damn live stream who been here before this damn solar eclipse know I, I live in Dallas, bro. I live in the DFW area. Everybody in here know that who been in here. I don't gotta explain shit to you. Get your goofy ass off my stream. Okay, explain this. Explain it. Somebody explain this. What was going on here? Explain it. So, like I said, it was three different suns out there. So this is called a sun dog. This is a reflection of the firmament. If you put a lighter under a glass bowl, you will see the same reflection. This only happens because we live on a flat earth and it's covered by a dome. And there is no climate change. There is man-driven disasters and weather manipulation by yours truly, the G-Men. And it says, and the M-Boys. And it says, but this beautiful sun dog that you are looking at, <coughs> that is a reflection, the firmament, uh, that, that's the reflection of the firmament you live under. Do y'all agree with that? Let me know in the chat if y'all <coughs> if y'all agree with that. All right, let's continue. So look at this shit. It's a bunch of weird stuff going on. 
<clears throat> Everybody just started capturing a bunch of weird shit, man. It was just a bunch of weird stuff going on from everybody who was catching this shit. Let's continue. <laughs> All kinds of weird shit going on, bud. I'm talking, I'm talking about yeah, you saw that shit now. I tried to tell you. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That fucking thing. Yeah. Yeah. That might be the devil's comment. They got something called the devil's comment. Yeah, that's what they Y'all see that? That way. See that on her? Oh, look, it's going down. Hey, is that one of them rockets? I don't know. What kind of weird shit going on, bud? Yeah, you saw that shit now. I tried to tell you. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That fucking thing. Yeah. That might be the devil's comment. They got something called the devil's comment. Man, there was so much weird shit going on out there yesterday, y'all. It was just so much weird stuff happening. I'm like, man, there's no way all this stuff is happening on Earth today like this. It's, this just can't be. Something got to be. Something is up. Something is up. It says, Gene Decode. Mary and Gene Decode discuss the truth about the significance of the April 8th, 2024 solar eclipse. 5D, CERN, Alliance, Truth versus Fear, Ascension, and its symptoms moon soul trap comet new world order envisioning man 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 i said still believe the uh still believe being the lies that you have been told do y'all still believe the lies the child have been told? <laughs> That's no moon. If it was, you would have seen it right before the eclipse and right after the eclipse. We haven't seen the moon in the sky all day except for this one moment right here. That is not the moon. Think about it. If that were the moon, it would have been lit up so bright right before it eclipsed the sun, brighter than we normally see it. But we didn't see that at all. It would have been the same thing right after the eclipse. You would have seen the moon brighter than ever before. But you didn't. You didn't see it nowhere today except for this one time right here. If it were the moon, this is how it would have looked. If you believe what they tell you, this is how it would look right here. But it doesn't. That's not the way it looked. That's not what you see today. You didn't see the moon until it was supposedly covering the sun. Because it man, man, man. Again, more lies, y'all. More lies. Wasn't the moon. This is what you saw. You've seen a black object, the same size as the sun, move across it and turn it to darkness. But you didn't see that object before it got there, and you didn't see it after it passed the sun. Like you, I just showed you right here. This is what you would have seen if this is what they were telling you the truth. But that's not what you've seen, is it? That's not what you've seen at all. This is what you've seen. You didn't see the moon before. It supposedly crossed the sun. You didn't see it after so what the hell was we looking at what was we looking at yesterday y'all said yep that's what i saw we didn't see no moon i kept trying to tell y'all yesterday i don't see the moon i remember when i was on live and i was like i don't know if it's gonna hit totality or not because i ain't seen the moon yet i kept saying where the fuck is the moon ain't the moon supposed to cross over into the sun like shouldn't we see it in our vision at some point shouldn't the moon be in our peripherals at some point at, at one point or another, you would just think, okay, there go the moon. Okay, what's going to happen now? That moon just popped up through the sun. Like I told you, it popped up and it just popped out of it. It, it didn't go nowhere. That where, where did the moon go? The moon is not invisible. The moon is not invisible, y'all. <clears throat> All right. But let us continue. Let us continue. Oh, my bad. Let us continue. Yeah, like I said, bro, they over here playing with us, man. They playing with us. <laughs> Hey, NASA was supposed to shoot rockets at him. Now look at this shit, y'all. You guys stop. You guys stop. 
So what was that, y'all? What was that, y'all? So what was that? I'm going to watch that one more. Tell me what the hell that was since that was the moon, right? What is that? Look at this. Hey, NASA was supposed to shoot rockets at And where did it go? Look at this. Oh, wow. Whoa, look at that. What's that all about? What is that? Yo, like I said, it? man, look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at this shit, y'all. And what we got here, man. What we got here. Okay, hold on. That shit went down. Hold on. So y'all remember if y'all was on live with me when I said I seen something flying during the eclipse. This is exactly what I seen. This right here. Somebody else caught it. I knew I was going to come across it. Somebody then caught a whole UFO or a spaceship gliding across the sky during the eclipse. I told y'all seen it, bro. Let's run it back. Y'all see this flying over the over the clouds, and now where is it at now? It's gone. It's cloaked. I'm not gonna cap. This one was actually crazy because I actually seen this. And while I was on live, y'all tried to say I was capping, but look. Right here, y'all just seen it. And there's all the clips they steady coming in. I'm gonna keep y'all tuned because there's something definitely strange going on, gang. Matter of fact, watch the next video. I got something else strange about this eclipse that happened. Y'all let me know what y'all think about seeing this flying object during the eclipse in the comments. Like a follow for more wisdom and stuff. What y'all think about that, man? Like I said, the shit was disappearing. They 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 trying to make a, a mockery of uh, uh, of God, gang, I don't want to hear nothing else but an explanation on why people were seeing multiple eclipses that happened at one time, gang. And there was multiple videos all over the country showing the same thing. Let me ask this question again. Why does it look like multiple eclipses are happening simultaneously at one time? As y'all can see right here behind me, somebody else caught another video of multiple eclipses or what looks like multiple eclipses happening at one time once again three eclipses are seen in this video right behind me now i now look at this shit y'all what the hell is this somebody makes sense of this somebody makes sense of this came to a conclusion of two answers this is either the firmament or multiple eclipses not gonna lie to y'all, it's a lot more mysteries to this eclipse than meets the eye. But I'm curious to... So I want to know what y'all think, man. Is that the firmament? Do y'all believe in the firmament? Because it's starting to look more and more like, man, you can't deny this shit. I just posted this recently finding out why can't we see the moon. And I was scrolling I through showed TikTok. That. I showed that already. I showed that one already. I showed that. This is so cool. What's that? What is that? What's that? Like I said, everybody seen this shit yesterday, man. You can't. What is that? You can't make this shit up. And, and this stuff was disappearing. These was not planes. You don't even hear a plane. You can hear a plane go over you. You don't hear no plane. Now look, what you would have heard a plane. See, that's why I don't want to hear nobody say, "Oh man, that was just a plane." Ratchet, come on, man. Y'all tripping? Okay, if that was a plane, how many planes then flew right over your head before? Everybody in this world then seen a plane go over them before. And we hear it. You could hear planes going over me yesterday. Everybody in here could see the planes going, going over me yesterday. 
when I see them, you could hear them. Even if you can't see them, you could hear them if they in your you know saying if they in your line of sight, you're gonna hear a damn plane. Come on, man. You can't just not hear a plane above you. Now, this was Dallas yesterday. This is what Dallas saw yesterday. That's Dallas Texas. It did not look like that where I was at. This was Dallas. So if this was in Dallas, Texas, if I'm 30, 35 minutes away from Dallas, I'm looking up at the same sky. Y'all seen my sky yesterday. This is a sky view from Dallas, Texas yesterday. So if we was all looking at the same sky and everything was what it was, I would have seen total blackness like this. It would have been, it was not like this where I was at. Now it did get dark a little bit. I ain't gonna lie, it did, but it wasn't dark like this at all. Now, this is about how dark it got for me about right here. On my screen, you probably seen it like about like that right there. That's about how dark it got for me. It never got darker than that. It was not pitch black where I was at. So as you see right there, more lies. They keep lying, bro. Now look at this. Now pay attention to this. It says, and this is my boy Donut. That's my boy Donut. It says the man who proposed the God particle, which was discovered at CERN, dies on the eclipse when CERN was reactivated. So the man who uh, proposed that the God particle uh, was found by CERN. This dude just passed away in Scotland at 94 years old. As you see there, he's a uh, Nobel Prize winning physicist who predicted the Higgs boson dies at 94. Come on, man. This shit is, you can't make this up. You cannot make this up. He uh, performed bloodletting sacrifices to strengthen a dying sun, a dying sun god during solar eclipses. Come on, this dude just died during this last solar eclipse, bro. Let's keep it a buck. You can't make this shit up, man. You can't, you cannot make this shit up. Let's continue. Hey, yo, where was I left for the solar eclipse? I was out there today and I managed to capture a little bit myself. This is what I got right here. Even though it's cloudy where I'm at, still got the gamma colors, the same ones I mentioned in my UFO encounters. You can see right here, purple, pink, green, blue, all neon colors. I caught the end of it. Now, my brother caught this right here. But let's go down to Mexico right quick. <laughs> A lot of people caught this right here and they focus on somebody else that caught it. If y'all ain't seen this video right here, I need y'all to check it out. He got an experiment he did. Now listen this to this. This is a real eclipse. This is the 2017 eclipse. This is me filming it. And luckily, there was some fog in the sky, something that might have come out of the back of an airplane accidentally. Right. You know, it, it dimmed it just enough where it wouldn't blow out your camera. One, we can't see the moon. And two, where the heck is the moon? So this is my model eclipse. I have a paper towel hanging. And on the other side of the paper towel, I have a source light focusing on this. And I have a Snapple bottle cap eclipsing it, blocking some of the light. They look the same. Comparing them, very interesting. This is a an eclipse. This is about 85, 90% eclipse. You can't see the eclipse because it's so bright, it's blowing out the lens. But if you put a pair of sunglasses on, you'd be able to see it. But this is how much the sun is eclipsed. Now, this is a lens flare. That's a lens flare. Mm -hmm. But this thing is not moving with the camera. It's locked yeah, in position with the sun. What are we seeing here? And I say, mm -hmm. I think that's the, the real, real sun. And this is the sun that we see. This mm -hmm. is not a lens flare. This is a lens flare. So here's my paper towel eclipse. Now you don't see the thing that's eclipsing it because there's no light coming off of it. Here's my source light and here's my eclipse. And you don't see it coming in or eclipsing it. You just see the effect of it. And so now it's exiting and no one has ever seen the moon exit the eclipse. It just moves away and you can see. Now I said, you know what? What if the sky is more transparent than my paper towel, which I think it is. And so I got a piece of toilet paper, tissue paper, and here, I'm looking through the tissue paper here. This is the source light, and this oh is what gosh. we're seeing. That's the source light. Mm. Oh, shit. Man, 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 man. That just sent chills down my spine. Somebody in Ratchet Gang sent me that and said, Ratchet, you got to see this video. You got to see this, Ratchet. Somebody from Ratchet Gang sent me this, and as you see right here, that's exactly what we were looking at. 
That's exactly what we were looking at. They fucking played with us. I'm not stupid, y'all. I'm not dumb, stupid, or slow. I'm not dumb, stupid, or slow. And you can't pull no pull this over my eyes and tell me this is what's going on. You cannot tell me. You cannot tell me, bro, that they really just did this. And people, people really bought into this. And people are still like, oh, no, y'all are tripping. We saw the eclipse. We saw it, Ratchet. The moon was there. You needed the glasses. There was no way you could see this without the glasses, Ratchet. You needed them. Did you have your glasses? Did you wear your glasses? Did you wear them recalled-ass glasses and look up at that sun and fuck your eyes up? Hell no, I didn't wear them glasses. I had some regular shades on. I, don't, I never needed glasses to see no moon. But let's continue. Let's go ahead and continue. That's the projector. This is the mm -hmm. sun that we see. And compare that to the real thing. Is there any difference? None. Bruh. Look, there's something flying through the air. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Yo, what the fuck? Aliens! Aliens! Yo. Bruh. Yo, where was... So as y'all see, that whole shit just got debunked. What y'all thought y'all saw was exactly what I just showed you. That was, you. where is it? It's supposed to, the moon should be right there. Should be right there. We should still be able to see it. We should cross over. We should still see it wherever it's going. Where is it going? Just going around the damn sun? So it, it, we should have seen it go around. We, we should have seen it. it. We never saw nothing, man. This is all fake. It's all Fugazi. This is so cool. All the disbelievers and scoffers thought they got away and thought nothing was going to happen. And y'all not even looking up. You the same ones watching the eclipse and y'all not even looking up and paying attention. My second question is, when the CERN cut the machine on? The people who really do research, they know that CERN is going to cut the machine on. But as the looks of this video look like something already came up out of there. If you haven't watched this movie yet, go and watch this movie while you got a chance. It's called Day of Reckoning, and it's about the eclipse. And this one looks like flew by the moon just a while ago. Tick-tock centers, the day of accountability is here. Mm -mm -mm. What y'all think about that? What y'all think about that? Now, it, it did look like something came up out that motherfucker. I'm going to be real. Something came up out of there. I don't know what it was, but it was loose. It says CERN opening portals and letting all types of creatures through all these portals. And it's also bringing ghosts like a mother. If I'm telling you, I'm telling this to you. Uh, what is I'm telling you this to your CERN criteria? Look at TikTok scaries and you will see the works of CERN. Please check out. It's different ones, but check out the Alexis volumes. It might be spelled a little different. Find the one closest to the name. Check that. Check that. It shall CERN is opening up portals to let these monsters in. You going if you gonna start something, might as well go all the way in, fam. Uh, no being scary. Whoop de whoop de whoop. Oh, you know I'm going all the way in. And this ain't a video. These are just there was somebody showing me but i guess they sent it like a gif or something but anyway it says hi not sure if you're still on i added comment to see uh your youtube live stream google map serpent mound state park in adams county ohio the eclipse totality line went through erie like eve ohio lots of weird places names near those sites lots of biblical names references there is a black gate products some some alter names a nudist colony cedar something etc i can't remember now but look at serpent mound state park serpent mound state park Damn, little speck coming again so damn that motherfucker moving fast as shit yeah how's it moving so fast but it just came from the wet, so it came from the, from up to go up. It didn't go across. Get the likes up, y'all. Can y'all not tell y'all are looking through a dome? I hope y'all can clearly see y'all looking through a dome, man. That quick, that bitch came right back. Wow, bro. That, that, oh, no, no, crack the light, man. 
I hope y'all can see y'all looking straight through a damn dome now, man. What the fuck was that? Shooting across the sky like that. Oh, my bad. Now look at that. What the fuck was that? Shooting across the sky like that. Look at that shit. Can y'all not see y'all are looking through a dome? Can y'all not tell y'all are looking through a dome now? I hope y'all see this clearly. What's up, Ratchet? It's Dominique from YouTube. I find it funny that all the earthquakes and things before the eclipse and now the day after the eclipse, the same path of totality is now experiencing tornadoes and warnings. I believe some did touch down and one was very close to one of the Nineveh cities. Just came across this and figured I would share it with you. It says uh, they are planning biological attack on April 8th just before the totality of the eclipse this is how it's going to go down planes will be delivering their payload at three intervals first we will be uh two hours before totality one hour before totality and the final 30 minutes before totality the planes will be deploying a powder a dry powder bacterial bio weapon it will it will not be visible you won't see it from the plane or the sky. It's meant to infect through aerosol delivery. The first two planes will be at standard altitude at the final plane, uh, approximately 10,000 to 15,000 feet. The path of flight will begin from northeast and they will travel down the central path of the totality, heading west, southwest, keeping the pace, <clears throat> keeping in pace with the totality of the eclipse. They uh, are doing this to take advantage of the event because they know there will be guaranteed targets that will be infected and thus be vectors to spread and con uh, and con whatever. It says symptoms will begin appearing seven to 10 days after the infection, 30 days after the infection, the media will notice 60 days after the infection, the panic will be at an all time high 90 days after the infection, newly agreed upon UNWHO powers will uh, be enacted and it says and you will know what will happen next people in the path of totality should not go outside bacterial payload with those uh, effectiveness within six hours post deployment half life of powder with very on humidity and temperature starting point is canada and the end point is mexico winds are unpredictable factor as in rain both which are negative negatively impact on this operation so allegedly from canada to mexico they was doing some weird ish they was doing some weird ish it says during the lunar eclipse on april 8 2024 the skies covering the entire eclipse pathway were uh littered with what is referred to as chemicals these excuse me chemtrails these chemtrails were thicker than normal and seemed to fall towards earth and it says, I ain't going to read that part because y'all know that word, the little Rona whoop de whoop. And so it basically is just saying, I don't want to read all this because it's going to put some shit on my channel. I don't even want to talk about it. But basically, y'all know what they're doing. It's basically the same thing they did when, when it was time for the whoop de whoop. Ratchet, I'm going to be real. I'm a flat earther. We are in a dome in this since the walls there. It says, we are in a dome in this since walls there no pole shift all this ish is happening is the government or higher up people effing with ish doing what they want with us because most of the people are distracted y'all got storms in texas everyone seemed to be spraying the sky to make the clouds not just for the eclipse now for the world so they can continue their plans for 15 whatever cities only to rebuild and destroy the same way they did with Katrina hurricane. So uh, it can, so can clear people in Louisiana. Allegedly y'all allegedly, allegedly, but we got some more videos. We finna get into some more research about this. Cause I'm not done. 
I'm not done by a long shot. We still got a lot more to talk about tonight, y'all. So let's continue. Let me see. What is where did I leave off on my videos? Let me get back up into my videos real quick. Hold on, gang. Give me one second. Okay. Let's go to this video right here. Let's get to this one. Hold on. Let's chop it up. Let's chop it up. That we are now in a total eclipse. You can see the corona around the sun, which is one of those rare moments where we here on Earth with the naked eye can actually see that outer atmosphere of the sun, which we all know is a lot warmer than the sun itself. Salute Leash on that 20 piece. I appreciate you. Salute, salute, salute. And we're of course waiting for, as it now then comes out of totality in about 56 seconds or so, we'll see that diamond ring again. And we've seen it play over and over again. The diamond ring and the, and Bailey's beads, obviously named after Francis Bailey, the great astronomer who first coined the sunlight peeking its way through the valleys and the craters of the moon. And that's what creates those beads, that beaded effect. And here it comes. We've got 25 seconds left here in. How do you know how much time is left? See, that's what I'm saying. Like, how do you know it's 52 seconds away, 25? Come on, fam. This shit is predictive programming. Charleston. And you can see how, you know, blessed the folks of Charleston are and, and we feel. Because look at the cloud cover on the right screen. You can see how many clouds are in the sky. We did not know whether or not this would work for us or not. But we are seeing it. We are seeing it. It's quite, it's quite visible to the naked eye. It wasn't We're shit visible. This. Wasn't shit visible to the naked eye where I was at. With so many scientists who joined us today, former astronauts, I want to bring in Dr. Hakim Olushei. Um, and, and as you take in this image with us, Hakim, what do you make of the fact that we and have then, all? And then did y'all see the, how's the moon gonna go this way and come back? Like it, it, it was like, oh, we went too far. Shit, bring the best shit back over here a little bit. All right, all right. Well, there we go. Keep it just like that. See, watch, I ain't making this shit. Just today, former astronauts. I want to bring in Dr. Hakeem. Now it's over there. Now it's going to come back. Oh, no, no, no. All right, there we go. Come on, fam. Shay, um, and, and as you take in this image with us, Hakeem, what do you make of the fact that we have all been able to witness now the diamond ring we're seeing, the flash of light, as now darkness and nighttime turns back into daylight here in Charleston? What an extraordinary thing to witness. <laughs> is so <laughs> totally creepy. Oh my goodness. There's like sunset, sunrise, every direction. People are going nuts. The weather yesterday, the planes, it was a lot going on, man. They finessed everybody. They had everybody standing outside to drop shit over, over their heads and Pretty soon, you'll have another one of those things you had in like 2019. <laughs> Our excitement, the sun is back. Oh. All this shit. See, but my thing is, again, how does the sun look different everywhere? How does the sun in South Carolina or the sun in New York differ from the sun I'm seeing in Texas? I keep saying it's because, Ratchet, you're seeing it from a different angle on the opposite side of the world. It's the same sun. The same sun you look up and see is the same sun I look up and see. The same moon you look up and see is the same moon I look up and see. You can go outside right now and look up at the moon, whether it's a whatever kind of, you gonna be able to see the moon, I'm gonna be able to see the moon. It doesn't make sense. Come on now, you can't just tell me this shit makes sense to y'all when it don't. Oh, look at that, that's crazy. It looks like a donut in the sky. What are your focus? 
And it damn sure wasn't this dark for that damn long where I was at. It was like dark for like 20 seconds and that shit went right. I was like, wait, that, is, that was it? Everybody on the shit was like, yeah, it's done in Dallas, bro. I'm like, where? Dallas? I'm right here. What the fuck y'all mean it's done? What What is done? And I'm still thinking maybe it's going to come over here. Or I, 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 I don't know, fam. What the fuck? How is it done? It didn't never look like this. That has to be the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my whole life. I feel like my son shot it. As y'all see, this shit just this shit is all fugazi, bro. This shit was all just some fugazi BS that they that they put in our heads, man. I, I'm not I'm not falling for it. I'm sorry, bro. I, I just can't fall for it. I can't be one of the people who sit here and fall for this shit, man. I'm sorry. Y'all can. Anybody in the room can feel however they want to feel, but I'm not going. I'm not going. I just can't ride with it. I can't go with the narrative of of, the, of this shit. So let's let's continue to listen to this dude at CERN, man. Let's listen to this dude real quick. Of Earth are disrupted. When you're seeing this eclipse, you ought to observe this. As the day appears to turn to dusk and then dark, people have heard birds stop singing. They've seen giraffes suddenly begin to gallop. What in the fuck is he talking about? NASA director wants public awareness to take place during April 8th, 2024 solar eclipse. Strange, unusual things will be noticed. Roosters start crowing and crickets chirp. That's every fucking day. But what are you talking about? Crickets going to chirp. Tr crickets always chirp every day, don't they? So watch for these unusual behaviors. And we encourage you to help NASA observe the sights and sounds around you. Eclipses have a special power. They move people to feel a kind of reverence for the beauty of our universe. I'm not sure what the hell he's talking about, y'all. Their power is not only to unify us on Earth, but to further science and discovery. And unusual things start to happen as the normal rhythms of Earth are disrupted. There's no better proof than moments like this, a total solar ellipse. And notice he said ellipse, not eclipse. It's a moment when millions of people across North America will look to the heavens as the moon passes in front in between the sun of it and the earth. And it's a rare sight that we haven't seen in seven years. And unusual things start to happen as the normal rhythms of earth are disrupted. When you're seeing this eclipse, you ought to observe this. As the day appears to turn to dusk and then dark, people have heard birds stop singing. They Again, this dude is talking about birds stop singing, crickets chirping. Feel a kind of reverence for the beauty of our... So this dude, this is the director of CERN telling y'all this, man. He telling y'all you're going to see giraffes galloping, crickets chirping, birds going to stop singing. Man, what in the hell is you talking about, bro? See, that's what I'm saying, bro. These motherfuckers at CERN, bro. I'm going to show y'all something at CERN. These people at CERN got, I don't know, fam. There's something going on up there at CERN. For the last time I'm going underground before we start running the LHC again in 2024. I've already passed a number of security checks and I'm going to go through the last uh, few before I get to go underground. So this machine scans my iris just like in Angels and Demons and it makes sure I'm the one that goes underground and also checks that I come back up again. So this is CERN, y'all. This is the headquarters at CERN out there in Switzerland. Please 
made it through. At the top of the lift, this sign tells us more about each of the subdetectors. Pause to read. Now I'm going to take the lift down to about 90 meters underground and uh, we're going to see the Atlas detector. There are only three floors on this lift, but we're going 90 meters underground, although I have sped it up because nobody wants to wait and watch all of that. So that's how far you got to go underground to get to this shit at CERN, y'all. Time for iris scanner part two. I feel it's important to note that these iris scanners wouldn't work if you remove the eye from the head, just saying. And we're in, and now we're gonna head over and see the detector. And honestly, every single time I see it, I, it just makes my day. I love it so much. So I will go underground as much as possible. And there's the Atlas detector. And there you go. This is what they are trying to launch. Well, this is what launched this big ass machine here, y'all. What in the hell is this? To look how amazing it is. It is 25 meters tall. That is massive. And there we are. Isn't this amazing? So um, very soon we're going to close this cavern so that the Large Hadron Collider can start running again and we get more data. Can't wait. So they saying that this is the thing that was going to find the God particle, allegedly. This one was about to find the God particle, allegedly, y'all. While I was underground, it turned out that the teams were preparing to close up this muon spectrometer, so I got to see it move, which you're going to see now. So here is a time-lapse, a sped-up version of that spectrometer being moved. And now we have closed the muon spectrometer in the detector, so there's a little bit more to do, but soon we can expect more data from the Large Hadron Collider to be collected by this amazing detector. Picture this. This is some weird shit, bro. These people that CERN, I don't know about them. As the moon cast its shadow, CERN could be using this rare event as a cloak for a jaw-dropping experiment. An experiment that could alter the very fabric of our existence. Can you feel the hairs on your neck standing up? It gets worse. Some speculate this experiment could tear open the fabric of reality itself, plunging us into a world of uncertainty and chaos. Can you imagine the fear, the uncertainty, the sheer panic? So, as you watch the eclipse, know that you might be witnessing the beginning of the end, or perhaps the dawn of a new era. Breaking news, the path of the total solar eclipse on April 8th has changed. Scientists got together, decided to redo the math and get... So, look, y'all hear that? Scientists got together, so we fucked up. The path, we had the path all wrong, y'all. We, we sorry. We had it all wrong. Guess what? The path of totality has shrunk a little on each side by about two miles, give or take. So if you're in Clayton, Oklahoma, you thought you were in, now you're out of totality. There's a little Waffle House right here on Route 71, just south of Fort Smith. They were enjoying totality breakfast. Not anymore. They're out as well. Let's slide on up here to Effingham, Illinois. The whole town celebrating they were under the shadow of the sun. Well, now half of Effingham is out. And finally, Kokomo, Indiana. Kokomo in totality, no mo. If you're on the edge of totality or thought you were, you're probably out of luck. Because this is a once in a lifetime event. The next total solar eclipse that we'll be able to see from the US won't be till August 23rd, 2044. For some of us, we won't even make it back. Absolutely mind blowing. Man, Stay focused man, and alert. Man, man, man. So 2044 is when we were really, we weren't even supposed to get that one. That was a man made one, allegedly. That was a man made eclipse. We wasn't even supposed to get that one. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know how we got that one, which I do know because these CERN motherfuckers and, and allegedly NASA, they all got together and just said, you know what, man, we just going to do some shit today. We about to pull some shit out today. We are about to do some shit today, y'all. Let's continue. We are not done. Let's continue. We're not done. Get the likes up, y'all. Get the likes up. There's all kinds of weirdness in that report. The pilots said in their report that they couldn't really see what they were chasing. But with two pilots plus the air traffic controllers, leads Vic to believe the helicopter pilots did not make a mistake. Chasing a drone across the city at more than 100 miles an hour. And now the FBI is looking for the pilot. Tonight, the police report from February incident shows that the pilots could not believe what they were chasing. So they never told y'all about this shit, though. It says it was a UFO disguised as a drone. Even the government is, isn't sure what it was. What kind of man-made drone makes sophisticated radar or infrared equipment useless? So they couldn't even use infrared equipment. The, the feds, the government could not even uh detect this with anything they it, it was they was chasing this thing at hundreds of miles per hour 
and could not figure out what the fuck it was. Team 12's William Pitts brings us the story that you won't see anywhere else. According to the police report, this was far beyond a commercially available drone like this one, and nobody has any idea who was flying it or why. A high-speed chase thousands of feet above Tucson was something even the cops couldn't catch. How they couldn't catch this? Come on now, y'all. Look at this shit. The first time anyone saw it, it almost crashed into a Customs and Border Protection helicopter at davis Monthan Air Force Base. Tucson PD put up their helicopter to find it. According to the police report, has anyone ever heard of this? Drop the gems if you were aware of this. Drop the eyeballs if you don't know what the hell is going on. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of people haven't heard about this. For the Tucson PD pilot called it a very sophisticated and specialized drone. It had a green light on its belly. But they could never see it, not even with infrared goggles. They chased it all over the city. Here's the flight path of the helicopter. Copter. They circled at least 14 times, going 100 miles an hour, and the drone kept evading them, even circling the chopper at that speed. So they were circling the chopper like, you can't fucking catch me. I'm in the sky with you, Moses. Come on, where, 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 where we going? Follow me, if you can. Matter of fact, I'm going to circle y'all about 10 times, then I'm going to dip off and let y'all know y'all can't fuck with me. So I don't know what was in this damn craft, but it damn sure wasn't nobody flying that motherfucker. Not, not, of, not of us. Finally, one of the pilots said the thing went over the top of Mount Lemon, more than 14,000 feet up. Come on, man. That was not no damn drone. How the hell do, do a drone go 14,000 feet in the air? How can a drone go 14? Come on, man. This, this was something that was not nothing we can get our hands on and fly. We ain't never flew no damn drone 14,000 feet. That's when the helicopter started running out of gas, but the drone was still going. <laughs> like, hey. I told y'all y'all wasn't going to be able to keep up. Y'all don't know what the fuck in this. This ain't no gas up in this. This is complete. Uh, this is from space. This is air from space. More than an hour later. To understand how bizarre this is, you need a little basic drone knowledge. Now, this is one of the drones we use here at 12 News. We're only allowed to go 400 feet up in the air. And really, on its best day, it's only going to go about five miles away from the control station. And no commercially available drone will be able to go more than a half hour without a battery change. So they was going for an hour or more. This was something going in the sky. They was circling in the sky, going 14,000 feet. This, this was not no drone. There's no drone that can make you do this. Sorry, y'all. Whatever Tucson PD saw blew past all of those limits. What you'd be looking at would be a hybrid system. So it'd be something like uh, uh, maybe a, a propane powered electrical generator. Vic Moss is a drone expert with the Drone Service Providers Alliance. We sent him the police report to check it out. This is not a normal drone. Vic says what this drone did is possible, just very hard and very expensive, like Department of Defense expensive. Hmm. Department of Defense expensive, huh? There we go. I would say it's almost a drone that got away from somebody, but there's all kinds of weirdness in that report. The pilot said in their report that they couldn't really see what they were chasing, but with two pilots plus the air traffic controllers, leads Vic to believe the helicopter pilots did not make a mistake. Hell no, they didn't make no mistake. They know what they, they were seeing, some uh, UFO type shit. They just couldn't catch it. They was trying their hardest. They said they couldn't even get it with an infrared beam. They couldn't uh get this with with nothing radar nothing sophisticated radar nothing could track this shit down so the credibility of the witnesses the fact that there was more than one they probably didn't get it wrong in the fact that something was there and it was probably a drone so what was it no one really knows and the fbi and the faa definitely want to know what this was because the FBI don't even know what the fuck this was, y'all. That's how you know it was some shit. Because if it had hit a helicopter or even a plane, it could have done some major damage. So far, the only thing the FBI is saying is that they're looking for tips. William Pitts, 12 News. They said they're looking for tips. Man, ain't nobody finna tip. Who gonna come tip you? From another dimension? Man, hey, look, man, it was us. I tell them I'm looking for tips. Man, who the hell gonna tip you? Man, get up out of here with that shit, man. These people be playing in our face, man. They just be sitting up here playing in our damn face. I'm telling y'all, man, this shit wild as hell. Hold on, we not done. No, 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 I don't want that video. We not done. I got some more videos for y'all. I got more, man. I got more. Let's go. Let's watch this now. Let's watch this shit. Now watch this. I got something for y'all. I got something for y'all. Now watch this. <laughs> what the fuck was that? What the hell was that, y'all? Something is up there. 
That's the same shit that was flying uh, uh, the other way in that other video. There's something up there, y'all. Where the hell is that going? What is this, y'all? Somebody said that's edited. That's somebody said that's edited. And most definitely, those clouds are lying. <laughs> How can you edit live footage though? That's the thing. Like, how can you edit live footage? Y'all be tripping me out with that. You can't edit something that was done live, bro. This there was multiple people seeing this. There was more than one person seeing this type of stuff. So you can't edit live footage. Somebody said, tip these nuts. Well, we're going to tip your ass off this channel. That's what we're going to do. We're going to tip your ass over the, over the edge. And we ain't talking about Antarctica. You gone. Get your goofy ass on. Talking about uh, tip these. Man, tip your ass on up. Tiptoe your ass on up out of here. Y'all going to get enough of that trolling shit. All right, we're not done, y'all. We are not done. So, like I said, man, they playing right in our face. They sitting here playing right in our face, man. I ain't going to let them play with me. You could, you might let them play with y'all. They're not going to play in my face no more. I, I'm exposing the truth, man. Let's continue. Again, y'all, it's something we seen earlier, but this this moon. This ain't no damn moon, y'all. This is not no damn moon. I'm sorry, y'all. That's not the moon. Oh, wow. Whoa, look at that. What's that all about? What is that? Yeah, what is that? That's what the world will know. What is that all about? What is that? I think there's so many people in the world wondering, man, what in the hell did we really witness yesterday? What the fuck was that? Because that's not what the hell they've been saying it was. There ain't no way. There ain't no way. So hold on. Let's know we're not done. Let's check out this video. We got more, y'all. We got more. Get the likes up, y'all. Whoa, what's that? Oh my I knew it's a left wing cover up. This is what they're covering. What is that? It's a picture. There's a picture. It's a drone. Uh, drones don't light up like light up like that. That's an alien right there. Hello. Holy shit! What the hell is that? What in the fuck is it? Look at it. Okay, I think we're about to get this. I actually think that's really creepy, and I don't like it. I leave everything to Seth. Oh, look, what we're is losing that? totality. What here. is that? Two pictures, what is it? I think it's probably a... Oh, it's gone. It's gone. It's probably it was like a... a... <laughs> what the fuck was that, y'all? What the hell was that, y'all? Somebody tell me what the hell was that? Because a lot of people were seeing a bunch of strange sightings all over the world yesterday. We all were seeing some weird shit, feeling some weird shit. It just started to begin. It started to begin like, bro, why are y'all fucking with us like this? Why are y'all out here fucking with us like this, man? We ain't we ain't bothering nobody. We just over here trying to watch a damn eclipse. I was just trying to smoke and watch an eclipse yesterday. That's all I was trying to do. Now look at that. Hey, what the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck, right? You seen what you said? It was saying. just two. Hey, it was just two light. It's two figures in the air. It's two figures in the air. It's three. Hey, it's like four on, bro. It's like it's like four suns lined up. Nah, that's like I see like it, it's like three 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 globes lined up together. 
Damn, I can't focus my shit. And them damn clouds, bro. Now, them ain't clouds. Them ain't clouds, brother. Them is not clouds. Them motherfuckers is not moving. That's crazy. Damn cloud, you can see it though. But where's like that's wow. Look, then look at look at my light. There we go. Again, they playing in everybody's face. Sitting here and they just keep playing, man. You can't make this shit up. You literally can't make this shit up, man. We're not done, man. Well, you can't make this shit up, y'all. I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. This is some shit you just can't make up. Then with the Eclip glass. Then yeah, with the Eclip glass, bro. It's like two, like three planets, bro. Oh my life. Like, what the fuck? You got one, and you got two. And you got three. You can see it right now. That shit, man. Wow. Deal with the eclipse glass, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, what that shit? Wow. Yeah, hey, yeah. Like, bro, it was like three planets lined up with each other, bro. And you ain't making this shit up, man. I believe you, brother. We all seen this shit with our own eyes, man. I believe you. And I know that we all witnessed some demonic, evil, weird shit yesterday, man. We all witnessed it, man. We, let's go. I'm going to open up these lines in just a second. Are you guys seeing this right now? Whoa. Okay, that was definitely something. Man, 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 what the hell is that? What the hell is that? What the hell is going on, y'all? What the fuck was that, y'all? See, it's a, I don't know, fam. I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. I don't know what's going on. I have no idea or no knowledge of it. But all I know is they played with us. They played with us. I'm dropping the, the, the lines right now. If you want to call in, there you go. Call into the show right now. Hit the link. Hit the StreamYard link. Put your username in, your email. That's how you call into the show. It's not a number. You got to hit that StreamYard link if you want to join the show let me know if anybody want to come up and chop it up about any of this stuff that we've been talking about over here. We got 1,200 likes, 3,000 people in the room. Can we get to 1,300 likes? Let's get it. Let me end this poll. I did a poll earlier, and I asked the chat, is the earth flat or round? With 2,000 votes coming in, we have 60% of the room who says the earth is flat. 40% of the room says the earth is round. So it ain't even 50-50. It's like more people are starting to wake up. That's what I'm I'm feeling like more and more people are starting to finally wake up. And, that, and I guarantee if you would have asked that question maybe like three years ago, it probably would have been 60-40 the other way. It probably would have been 60-40 the old way. Let me do the other way. Uh, let's go Grumpy calling in. What's good, Grump? Hey, what's happening? Neighborhood Grumpy here, you know. Salute. Love, I love what you're doing. You know, you know me. I've been studying and praying all about this, man. So I'm just, I'm here for it all, man. Paying attention. Um, I think there's a lot of distractions going on. Um, you see, what a lot of these people do is, uh, have you ever been to a, a, a magic show? Yeah, when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's like it looked real. I mean, <laughs> you know, you be looking at them like, oh man, it's how did they do that? You know what I'm saying? And then you, if you go behind the curtain, if you, you know, 
if somebody who has trained in that same art explains to you what they did and then you uh like K Ben mutual uh live oh yeah there. sorry I'm so sorry no no you good you good all right go ahead yeah if ahead. somebody if somebody no I'm a, I'm gonna be real short but if somebody explained to you what they did then you like oh okay so it's not so mysterious now you know it's like you know so for me right now what i'm waiting on is the big trip because you know they they had think about this you showed a lot of videos where a lot of people is looking up at the sky and they're yelling and they, it's a that's a lot of energy man that's a lot of energy Thanks. it's a lot of energy and so when people when they pull that energy you know what i'm saying away from people they can actually push that energy back for whatever real purpose that they actually have that's coming up for whatever they planning i don't know i listen i'm not a you know i ain't no clairvoyant or nothing like that so i can't tell you what they planning but it's very clear to me you know just by the based off of what i've seen them do historically that they're planning on doing something and they're drawing off of people's energy and they've already got their energy away from them so that they can use that energy again when they actually do something. And I don't know when it's going to happen, how it's going to happen. I'm just saying it's very clear to me. So they use false narratives and uh, these, you know, this sky worship, this <laughs> idol worship to uh yeah. to get people sucked in you know yeah salute hold on one second k ben go ahead so this whole uh cern thing mm -hmm. i mean i i've i've looked into it and i i honest and truly i've never seen um that statue that that uh tiktoker was talking about that that's in front of the whole that's what represents cern um why was there a baphomet in that ceremony um why was there even a ceremony before they're doing a scientific experiment and again why why, why was there a baphomet that, that i mean we've the whole world saw that it doesn't I, mean, I don't understand where's the outrage where's the, the programs forget diddy what, what just happened in switzerland what, what, what was that it, yeah was i don't know anyone what alarmed was. and then I know if people think it's so far fetched, but I completely believe that whole theory that they've been messing with those particles down there for some time now. You know, people are now learning about it or becoming more educated about it, but they've been down there for some time now. And who knows? They're messing with the speed of light. We they we, they don't even know what they're doing down there. They think they do, and I, I think you said it earlier. It's like a bunch of maniacs. That have taken that are that are running this planet, and and I I truly believe that something went down during this eclipse, and I believe that it all connects to CERN, that whole ritual, everything, and I believe everything you're saying that we better look out. I literally just like closed my sky roof, <laughs> I'm like closing my windows. I don't want anything to fly through my window because I don't know what's in the sky. I mean, what well, ale allegedly, if you remember yesterday. It was a peaceful day everywhere, right? Then all of a sudden, you see a bunch of planes start going everywhere. You start seeing a whole, but they don't have a destination. There are no planes landing anywhere. I I wasn't even by airport yesterday. You understand what I'm saying? So when people start depicting what I'm talking about, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. I was right over something, but the, the plane came right above my head really low, but it didn't land anywhere. And then the plane came way above my head, like 20 minutes after that, didn't land anywhere. Like they don't got have destinations. But then when I look up and I start seeing, oh shit, there's clouds everywhere now. There's clouds all around me now. Now the whole clouds are covering the sun and you can't really see what's going on. So what they were doing yesterday was using the chemtrails, allegedly, to kind of fog everyone's judgment. So when you could see shit going through you can't see if this is a dragon, a, a plane. You don't know what the fuck is going on in the sky. But also, you can't see them putting this powdery substance that's about to plague this damn 
You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say too much. Yeah, that's the, the uh, that's the uh, that's the uh, barium, uh, the aluminum and barium oxide that they put up there. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm I'm from the I'm from the native community. We call those war clouds. Um, they just sit there. You know, we call them serpent clouds. You know, um, you know what's interesting what you said, and and when I was listening to you, you was like, "Those ain't clouds." Well, actually, yes, they are. It's just that they're artificial clouds. Yeah. <laughs> that's what they. Yeah, it, it, it's that's what they do. They, you know, when you see those planes go up in there, and you know, it'd be a nice day. You'd be walking outside be a nice day and you see them planes just crisscrossing all over the sky you like oh hell you know in about three hours it's gonna be a dreary day right um they hiding things uh it's it's again you know what we talked about last time and uh you made a good point it's like you don't believe them well, nobody should believe these people. These people lie. That that old man that you put up on the screen from uh, NASA, which, by the way, you know, I speak several languages. I know I don't sound like I speak several languages, but I do speak several languages. He, the, he He's speaking as a serpent, man. Okay, he's he's telling you what they're trying to do to y'all they putting you to sleep which is what you again mentioned earlier in the in the in the show predictive we concluded that it's not predictive it's pre-programming um to to let you know that we are about to do something okay so nasa is a serpent so and 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 so what they do and even there the 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 split you know they 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 show you the split tongue they're what they're showing you is that we're gonna direct you this way but what we're gonna do is this way and and um that's why he had a freudian slip when he said instead of saying eclipse he said ellipse Mm-hmm. Like he had a forty and slip, like his mind, like you know, because even even as evil as you are, and as as intelligent as you are, and as wise as you are, like you can't hold all of this information inside of you without slipping sometime. You know what I'm saying? Cause yeah, so yeah, so he slipped, and so part of that is. Part of that is what he's telling you is what is by the way, what is an ellipse? Ellipse an ellipse is 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 an elongated circle. Mm. So what he's telling you, so what he's telling you is in that 33rd degree language that we gonna deviate from what we actually telling y'all. <laughs> so when it actually do, when that shoe do actually drop. <laughs> y'all ain't even gonna know what hits you. You know what now I'm you, saying? You want to know, know something? Now let me tell you something crazy. You remember I told you there was gonna be three days of darkness in some places, right? Now, yeah, tell I remember. Me that. Yeah, where yeah. Did, did the sun come out in everybody's city today? It didn't come out out here. Has anybody seen the sun? I, I did. The sun was not shining out here today. It was cloudy. You didn't not see the sun at all today. Hey, my my cousins called me. They they my cousins called me. And listen, I got I got two of them. So my cousins called me. They said, "Man, it's raining out here. It don't never be raining like this, man." And they was feeling bad, laying down, all that. So yeah. I, you know, there's things going on that we don't understand. That we are going through. But I will say this: of darkness, brother. We are going through three days. Of, I don't know who this is calling my damn. Google now. I say this though. I right. will say this to all you people out there. You know, stay prayed up, be hopeful. Man, don't be afraid of these people, man. Like it's just it just let them let them let them do what they do because they've been doing this for thousands of years. But they they come up it's just it's coming. What I'm t- listen to what I'm telling you, brother. 
they have they have basically recreated because if you know that we, we was never supposed to get an eclipse yesterday it was never supposed to happen that's not a real eclipse of what the fuck they were telling us was anyway you know the pisces aries anyway whatever yeah this was never supposed to happen what they were doing was using man-made technology like they have done with the uh windmills where they can create oh i agree i agree where they can create hail storms they can create tornadoes they can create yeah, earthquakes they can create uh volcanoes uh, uh hurricanes or, or whatever whatever type of weather you can think of yeah it's, a harp, it's the harp uh so, the harp so, weapon on, let me, let me yeah. land the plane real quick so if they can do all this they were just trying to see how far can we go can we really go cover up the sun can we really recreate an eclipse like we did with all the weather so now they know okay not only can we do holograms in the sky but we can have total darkness and take the sun out of the equation and we can just do what the fuck we need to do go ahead oh uh, we got somebody backstage hold on let me see this deontay what's good no, I agree. I agree with that, and I think that's the that's not only the heart weapon, but the 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 uh, the technology for uh, holograms and and all of that. But I want I want to hear I want to hear the queen talk because it sounds like she she has something on her mind. I don't want to I don't want to dominate. Oh no no! I'm patiently listening. Um, I'm actually kind of working, <laughs> but um, I did notice that yesterday the sky was completely clear in NY. And even the forecaster the day before said, oh, get ready for a wonderful eclipse. We have complete, total clear sky. The entire day, the sky was clear. <clears throat> I took several videos right before totality. I would say about a half an hour before totality, the sky started to become very foggy. Very foggy in Brooklyn. It was complete, just foggy. It was clear an hour prior and right before totality, it became very foggy. That is so true. And the air quality was very dense. Right after totality, I went inside. And mind you, we were supposed to be income. We were 90%. It was completely bright. It, was, it did not get dark. But then people, Niagara Falls, it got completely dark. Right outside of, right up upstate New York, it was completely dark. I just don't understand that. I, I don't catch that at all. My aunt also lives in Texas. She lives in Garland. Her best friend lives in Dallas. It was completely bright in Dallas. It got a little like dust like, but it did not get as dark as these videos are showing. They're yeah, in awe. In Texas. I, agree, I agree with that. Yeah, one of my. But that's what I'm trying to tell people that, that are trolling saying, oh, there's no way you could have been in Dallas. I'm like, I don't give a fuck what y'all are seeing on these videos. I'm here. I don't give a fuck what y'all are witnessing. I'm sitting right here and I'm looking right at the sky. That looked like it was like, you know, when it's like about 730 and you see the sun might be starting to go down a little bit and it, the, the day is starting to wind down. It looked like that, like a normal day where you pro some people might got their headlights on. Some people can drive without them if you can see good. That's how the, the sky looked for me yesterday. But uh, let me go ahead and let Deontay get in here. Go ahead, Deontay. Hey, what's up, Ratchet? Salute to you, my brother. Uh, appreciate what you. I appreciate what you're doing. Yo, man, those videos you were showing, man, it's going to be a lot of stuff coming down the pipeline in the next three to six months, man. Like you said, with the whole thing with the axe and all that, and then all these others, the UFOs, everything, man, that was insane, man. Okay. I, I, appreciate you, I appreciate you for bringing that to the light, bro, because... I didn't know none of that was going on until I seen all these videos. It's scary, man. But that whole axe in the side of the window, on the side of the building, it's some demonic stuff going on, man. And it's going to be some some horrific stuff, some horrific vents coming coming down the horizon. I, I just want everybody to get right with the most high. It's scary, bro. But yeah, salute to you, man. I'm going to drop off. i am uh, been a long time subscriber, man. Appreciate what you're doing. Uh, salute hey, to everybody man. on the channel, man. I appreciate you for stopping by, man. Thank you for the thank you for the support, dog. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. You. Yes, sir. All right. Salute, Nay. What's up, Nay? Hey, Ratchet Gang. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of the platform. No problem. No problem. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I just wanted to jump on and um add to say that um I do believe um the whole purpose of that was just a big experiment. Um, I do believe that it is I feel like they will be projecting like a false um 
a false well i do a lot of research in myself or as they would call me a conspiracy theorist but i do believe they're trying to prepare us for the false coming of thinking that it's jesus christ or something of mm -hmm. that nature and then they're trying to deceive it it is an image of him and then all alone is going to start a, a spiritual warfare and I, I really think something's bigger is coming i feel like that day also yesterday was just like a really big ritual i do believe some other things were going on amongst the elite so i do believe it was a lot going on yesterday yes i do agree with you right there i think that uh i think you're right on the money they were definitely preparing us with a ritual they definitely were energy harvesting. Like the man at uh, NASA said it, we know a bunch of millions of people will be looking up into the heavens. So if right. you know you have an event where millions of eyes, millions of souls are standing outside looking up at the biggest energy source in the entire world, what the fuck right. do you think is going to happen? You're harvesting everyone's energy. But like you did say yesterday, I did make it a point to say they are going to come up with something from this. It might not be, they're not going to say it happened because of this, but we all were out there. Well, not we. Everybody was in crowds and shit like that. So whatever is, is in the atmosphere now, somebody's going to get hit with some shit. They're going to come back and they're going to be, someone's going to make it look like whoever this person is, is coming to save humanity. Somebody's yep. going to look like the knight in shining armor and everyone's going to look at him and praise this man. And I'm telling you, that's when you're going to know this nigga rats yep. say this it's about to go down so definitely i agree with you absolutely and i want to add one more thing um with two more things like for example like um i watched on your live last night where um beyonce they had like beyonce on that like a surfboard or something like that that kind of ties in i feel like when they do this return and and projecting stuff in the sky and et cetera et cetera i feel like that ties into it because again it did show the solar eclipse during her tour that that performance um and, and also they have I the think, portals out there too right right so I, all of that ties in and mind you beyonce is like one of the high elites too like she's the what she's the most paid if not relevant uh r b singer period her and jay-z so you know it ties into beyonce but i also wanted to add too to say that they're going to use p diddy's son for this next distraction <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah it's coming he about to get hit with another yeah song. it's hey it, uh, it's funny she said that surfboard because that goes into the marine spirit which is taps into that portal talk that we talking about that whole surfboard the marine spirit you know the water all that i can tell she studies i can tell she studies you 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 you, you right on point young woman you're right on point, young lady. What's good? Uh, uh, no, that's not right. uh, who's next. Jermaine, what's good? Appreciate it. Jermaine. Jermaine L. No, you're not there no more. Are you still there? Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. All right, what's good? Can you hear me? Yeah, 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 I hear you. It's a lot of echo going on. I just wanted to clear the air right quick. I was, um, I wanted to clear the air, um, on the comment I made. I wasn't trying to. I wasn't trying to talk noise. I wasn't trying to talk noise. I want to clear the air right quick. Um, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I think he's got an echo on your end, but just get it off. Go ahead. Yeah, I want to, I want to clear the air right quick. Uh, Go ahead. I wasn't talking noise on that last comment. It was in response to that, that video about the FBI warning uh, a tip in regards to the, the drone that they were talking about. So I wanted to make sure everybody know I wasn't talking noise. I wanted to make sure, you know, everything was clear. I, I got too much respect for your show. So I All right, what's your name in the chat? What's your name on the chat? All right, I think if, if y'all see a Jermaine L, it's all good, bro. I don't know if you can hear me right now, but it's all good, fam. I'll get you. If you got blocked or something, I'll get you unblocked, bro. I appreciate you for calling in, dog. I appreciate you. All right, go ahead, uh, Mr. 15. Yeah, um, I feel like they got, um, now they're going to have control of, you know, making the cities dark and stuff, and now they're really going to put on the show. They, they, I think the clips was something. Wait till they start blacking out cities and stuff, doing what they want to do. Oh, they know they could do it now. They, they got the power now. Yeah. Like you said, they're gonna show us a force, a for a fake Jesus, a fake God, or somebody come down. You already had that Russian dude say Jesus was black and everything. Watch what they do. 
something about to happen in the next three months. I can tell you that maybe I forgot who said three to six months. I I, I agree with that. Three to six months, we about to see. An, uh, it's gonna be a rude awakening for everybody real soon. And I feel like um, oh, uh, that's a good like point. What he said when people seeing like them three eclipses at one time, I think it's because of like the different layers of the dome. Like we under a dome for some reason. And I think that's why it's the reflection they see all that. That's why yeah, they see I, it lined up like that. I agree. I think we're in a dome too. I don't believe that you can just freely go travel in space like that. I don't I don't agree nah, with that. Nah. Nobody never been out of space. They be lying. They lie about a lot of stuff. No, there's no satellites in the sky. All the internet wires run underwater to all the countries. Everything's a lie. A lot of stuff that they tell us is a lie. There's nothing in the damn sky. If that if anything was in the sky, if that's the case, when you look up at night and you're looking at the stars, you would see satellite lights, right? Would you see that? Why you don't mm, see none of that? That's, in the that's sky? a good fucking question. Yeah, that's very balloons. interesting. It's I balloons. never thought about that. It's I balloons. Know. Yeah, because no, it's balloons. Those satellites, it's balloons. Those satellites don't those satellites yeah. don't do nothing. And then think about this. They have satellites in the sky to see all those pictures. Why they got those Google cars driving around, all those cars riding around getting maps and getting cameras of everything. They lying. They lying. That's how they get their pictures. Because I see the cars sometimes, the Google map cars driving around with all the cameras all around the car. And they let lie. me tell you. Say Cub. Say Cub make a good point. But for the people who think the there's a round earth, so then... It it doesn't make sense. This so you got you got you, you, you got this you got people living on the, the so you got people living in the air on the side of a map. Nah, exactly. It's land Do you get what I'm saying? So how, how the it's hell is it? Than what, it's bigger than what they think they tell us. Yeah, because we can only go so far until they basically area fifty one our ass and tell us you cannot go past here. You are gonna get knocked off. Now really? I have seen the edge of the earth before. I have not visited, but I've seen videos camera. that people. Said they went past the ice walls and planes, and they seen more land. So it's something else that they're Admiral not telling Bird. It's a- not- Admiral Bird. Admiral Bird. Admiral Bird wrote about it. He wrote about it. I'm sorry. Exactly. And they shut him. Operate on that. They shut him down. Hold on. What you say, man? They tell us. Oh, hold on. Hold on. One second. One second. One second. Go ahead, man. I'm sorry. You said that you literally witnessed the edge of the earth. Could you just elaborate on that? Yeah, I've seen it. They showed film where people have went to the ice wall i've seen the ice wall there's a such thing in, in antarctica it's called the edge of the earth it's called a, a big ice wall that no one can get past they won't let no one but get that's past what i'm they... trying to tell you that's what he's trying to tell you somebody wrote about it and people and somebody else has a video about it. they flew past that ice wall this land past that ice wall they just don't want to tell us about it there's a bigger map than just yeah it was Ad- admiral bird it's a bigger his map name, than what his they name was us. The world is not round. It's bigger yeah. than what they're showing us. There's more continents. There's more stuff outside that ice wall. That's why. And then the, they keep the, 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 that's the, why they keep shooting the, rockets. Hold on, hold on, hold on the firmament. They keep shooting rockets. They want to break the firmament. But if it's really water above the firmament, when they shoot them rockets and break it, we're going to flood out and die. Everybody's going to die. But they you shoot. can't do that because God already said he will not flood the earth again. So you you it's uh, you can't break it. You don't give a damn that's why, you. Yeah, that's, you why can... you see those, that's why you see those rockets when they hit it, it just disintegrate. It never, nothing comes down and you don't see nothing but that little explosion and then it just disappears. The dome is gonna off, the dome Yeah, is look up, look up, uh, look up Project Dominique. <laughs> Look up Project uh, Dominique and um and Fishbowl. Look up Project. Look up Project Dominique and Project Fishbowl. They had a they had um, a show about it too on um, yeah. Amazon Prime. It was called Dome or Under the Dome, something like that. It was it was. It was yeah, yeah you made a good point. You made a good point about Putin because Putin he came out and he did a whole speech. You know, releasing the uh, the the right. real icons. Be- and and yeah, they've been he, new he, that. He, and and honestly, they've been new. Yeah, that. they that's just a fact. Like, all he, of a sudden, now we just open the votes and we're gonna let y'all know they've been. We that. <laughs> well, they've we've been, been telling we've been telling them. Yeah, but we've been telling them for years that we the people. But the thing is, is now they, they running scared because now they understand that it's getting close to their end. Yeah, so they use, they use they, that, they use yeah. that white men as Jesus, not to cut you off, but to keep us in slavery, to keep people in fear of the white man, to have you feel like the white man is the superior race. That's what the whole play was they did on us the whole time. 
I know, but Putin is kind of doing a little play on us too. You see how cozy he's getting with um, these African nations. He's 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 cozying up to to Africa on purpose because it's going to be another war. It, it, that's what he's doing, and that whole um, um, reveal, even though most of the world knows that already. Uh, that was just his way of saying, look, you, you know, you were robbed all these years. So it could, be another, so it could be another war and then be a civil war amongst yeah. ourselves. That was his propaganda of just trying to... No, I, I agree. Not I agree with that. The, the whole point is what I'm saying is, is this is this is how they practice their witchcraft. They practice their witchcraft by revealing to you what they actually know. It's just like the vampire, right? The vampire, he can't come into your house unless he not and you let him in, <laughs> right? So that's 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 the play he's using, and and that's a good observation, sister. It's a very good observation because what they do is they they have to tell you the truth before they perform their witchcraft on you. Mm -hmm. Universe is one, and so. And so this like this whole four eight thing that we just went through and all that, they 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 basically were knocking on the door because they letting you know like we about to do something to you. So when they got us to like Thug said, when they got us to look up at the sky and get all our voices up there and draw our energy up and all that, they gonna use that energy for whatever they prepare for, for whatever they plan it for. I don't know what they plan it for, but they well, plan it for something. What if they did all that to fire up the CERN? Maybe that's what they needed. Maybe that's why they did that ritual before that, and then they had to fire up the CERN, plan to do it with the solar eclipse, because they had everybody energy. They was planning to draw everybody energy to fire it up. Did people ever think about that? What concerns me the most is why are they letting us relate to each other from different sides of the world with this information with uh with the internet like the universe, the universe to of us, you know what i mean they 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 it, this is sickening to them that we're that we're all the conspiracy theory passed it's, into life it's, it's two things it's universal law and then two what are we going to do really they are they this is they world they control the land they control everything what is we really going to do they just showed you they could turn the lights out <laughs> what you going to do that's facts i mean what's up Go ahead, go ahead. No, it's that it, it is facts, but still, it's almost like they're letting us see our demise right before it kind of happens. Because <laughs> we don't. Yeah, that's a part of that's a part of the magic. That's a part of the that's hold up real quick, brother. That's a part of the magic. Magic. They have to. One of the things when you read their books and and you study these people, they. have to let you know what they gonna do to you before they do it. It's it's like a, it's it's a like a OCD. You know that that's just what they do. They they put it in your face before they do it because there has to be some type of spiritual agreement. That's so if you to agree to, to it, is yeah, if you, law. yeah, if you agree to it. Then, then they don't feel it's it's that checkerboard on the Masonic checkerboard, that duality. If you agree to it, they they don't care whether they end up on the light side or the dark side, as long as you agree to it. Right. So they, whatever they, outcome, they trick us into agreeing to it because you don't never know you agree to it the way they do it. Is they could they tell you right in your face, but people don't catch it. Nobody never catches it. And that's how you agree to it. And that's how they run their plays. That's why they do everything. Look how everybody went outside and put them damn glasses on and went to go see the shit. So the play worked. Because you're going to go that's run to you. Everybody, everything they do, everybody runs to do it. And then everybody want to do it now because they want to pull out their phones and show that they're there doing it. What's up, Shay? Hey, did y'all hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay. Hey, hey what up, Shay? Hey, hello. So they want to block the sun out. Period. They've been talking about it. The president's been talking about it for a minute. When it goes back to the global warming, because uh, yesterday I put it in the chat about the mel melanated people. Um, no racism, nothing. No, no Shay, you sound low. Okay. 
Can you hear me? Yeah, now? you sound low. Can you come up to the mic? Shay. I don't know what she got going on. Okay, can one. you now? Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. My earbuds and you know how good I can hear. But um, with the melanated, everybody, the, the this radiation from the sun, everybody not going to be able to withstand that at that time, right? And so they're trying to block that out. So I think yesterday was the test to see if they can successfully do it. We saw what happened, right? And then the points that y'all was making this, they've been wanting to do all of this. And then uh, with the tricks and the agreements, like how the gentleman just said, like we all went down there, basically they put it in entertainment. They, they put it there. Some people look at it as entertainment, but it's them telling what's going to happen or what's to come. And then like yesterday, everybody, we all did, myself included, went and looked. It wasn't a trick because we knew what was what we was looking at. You know, what, or what we were trying to go look at. It was a trick, but wasn't a trick. So I'll go back to what you said, Grumpy, like, um, it's, it's like you kind of going into agreement, but that is how it works. That's just how it works. And then as far as the firmament, Hell, what's her name? Hillary Clinton. It's been a lot of presidents and their wives or whatever been talking about trying to crack this firmament. Even what's a man that <clears throat> been sending up rocket rockets, right? And then and it's recorded. People recorded some stuff, and you can look it up. You see the rocket going straight up, and then it got to curve up. It don't. It can't even keep going. So you know we under a firmament. You know, yeah, she said she said we trying to crack that glass ceiling. Right. <laughs> that was she said. Hold on, yeah. we got somebody backstage. Hold on. Uh black ropes. Black ropes. I appreciate you. Go ahead. I'm from Connecticut, but I've been living in Montgomery, Alabama, oh, for about 20, over 20 years. Let's put it like that. And I have been talking about this stuff, the same thing that y'all are talking about for over 20 years, and it's happening right now. And I have family members and friends calling me and want to know what's going on now. But they used to laugh at me back in the day. And everything that y'all are talking about, I am witnesses, and I thank the Most High that I'm able to um, see what exactly is going on. Now, I am a little disturbed about that eclipse or ellipse we had yesterday, and y'all did bring that to the light because that is kind of confusing. So uh, what we did, see, we didn't get total totality at all, but we they said we were going to get like 80% of that, and I, I didn't even see close to that. I, I did see it with the naked eye. And also with my um, shades on, but still, it was something strange behind the scenes. But I'm glad that black people are waking up, and and the best thing about it is that is young black people waking up, and that's a blessing to me to see that y'all are speaking the truth. We got young men, young women, and thank y'all for that. And now I know this is true, and it's it's the truth right in front of my eye, and that our father y'all. One thing I do want black people to understand, and I'm going to say black people, I'm not going to say African-American, is that this is our country. This is our land. And pretty soon when, when we, it's enough, when the most high, it had enough of this because the earth was given unto the hands of the wicked. He gave it to Satan and he have his millions running around here doing what they want to do. That's what, so we're not going to be confused or disturbed what's going on with the entertainment community or whatever they got going on because they're rich whatever they want to call themselves but pretty soon after this year is up it would this is the last circulation of money so um this is the year of suffering this summer is going to be a year they're going to cut a lot of things out and this is the last day not printing no more money y'all so long as y'all keep saying you're chasing a bag you're not going to be chasing that bag no more so um that no, this is it they, they, they finna replace it and, and then something else they're gonna prepare mm -hmm. for is they gonna take away bank accounts uh, uh, everything is gonna be in your wrist mark my word mm -hmm. within the next 20 years 
everything is going to be documented when you go to the store you ain't gotta you ain't gotta have your wallet you left your wallet your id you don't need it you get pulled over hold on hold on hold on hold on well you i'm just saying 20 years i don't know how long it could be five it could be 10 i just know for a fact we don't have that long 20 years from now 15 years from now 10 years from now i just know that everything that you think you need you no longer need it they will they will make sure they scan Um, it inside of your wrist mark of the beast right right anybody know what the mark of the beast is they gonna put the mark of the beast on us and you gonna everything is gonna be the end of times whenever they tell you you got to be chipped when you got to be chipped like your dog so they can find you and you there'll be no escape and when they come for martial law and take all the guns it's man look y'all better learn how to live off the grid hold on we got a few people calling in backstage Texas, Alabama, what's good? Shay, what's I, I good? just want to say mother, mother to the good? mother. What's good? What's good? Hey, right? to the mother. Hey, to the mother. To the mother. I just want to say thank you, mother, just for standing your ground for these last 20 years. I know I look young, but I've been doing the same thing for 20 years. So I just want to thank you for standing your ground for 20 years and explaining the truth to our people because yes. they need it because this is the time that we in right now so i so grace mercy and peace to you and to long to you before i hang up i have one more question because i always listen to this show and i'm so happy i you did accept y'all did accept me um my call but i have one question y'all i'm gonna get a little bit off the subject i, I hear you talk a lot about the um immigrants that are coming in and I hear you talk about them, what they're doing and how they're going, how they're killing and doing all this. Do y'all do y'all really think that that's what they're over here for, or do y'all think that maybe they're here to come and help us too? Because pretty soon it will be something like a civil war, y'all. We know that. So no. who do y'all think they're going to be for? Will they really come for the blacks, or will they come on our side, be on our side, or we just play it and be on, just watch out? They go be. I feel they go be on the. Uh, I don't think they go be on the black side for real, because a lot of them are already consider themselves Caucasian. Okay. I mean, I'm just being what, real. I ain't, you know, I ain't trying to, you know, be racist or nothing. But I, I'm be all the way real. I've dated, you know, a couple of Hispanic women, and on their birth certificate, under uh, race, they, it's like, but it's white. Wow. That's true. Yeah. Yup. Well, in terms of New York City, um, I mean, there's a whole hotel in the center of Times Square where there are, I can't see them being helping us when they're destroying the city. The National Guard is in the subway because of what's happening. Women are getting punched in the face randomly in New York City. I mean, the city is going down. It's a direct result of what it's a direct result of that. Okay. Salute to Texas, Alabama. What's good, brother? Yeah, uh, man, I don't know if you know this, Ratchet, man, but over in, uh, man, this is a true story, bro. This ain't nothing I saw on TikTok, bro. Over at uh, uh, Whole Foods, over in Plano off of Preston Road. Man, they already got this machine set up over there, bro, where you you uh, you could pay with your palm instead of your debit card, bro. Have you seen that? No, I haven't seen it, but I ain't surprised because, like I said, they're gearing up. Yeah, that's the Amazon. Yeah, that's the Amazon, that the Amazon thing where you put your hand over the thing and you they yeah. they scan your hand. Yeah, that's they it, scan bro. your hand and they get your yep, yeah, they get your they get your your hand print. Yep. You can put your hand over it. They done already they done already figured it out. Yeah, yeah they man. did figure that out. They've been doing yeah. it for a while in other countries, but over there in China, even before they put it in it, they already um doing it over there. If they yeah. check for that money coming straight off their account, that's how they being able to monitor everything. Not only would they chip us, but because it's all going to be the chip, whether it's a debit card or bit big coin or whatever, that's how they're going to be able to try. And if you violate at any time, they can go wipe your shit completely out. You're yeah, yeah. And, they, and they got employee lease stores. Like you could go in the grocery store and just when you put it in the shopping cart and ring it up already. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You don't got no employees in the store. I'm out. I'm out on the West Coast, man. They already got restaurants. They already got restaurants where robots come and they give you your food. They give you your drinks. They take your order and everything. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, that's yeah, good. it's like that. Uh, that's yeah, good. they they but yeah, most, they, they doing the they doing the most. It's gonna be bad, just like they showed you in the Matrix and everything. The rise of the machines is gonna be bad when everything mm -hmm. becomes machines. It's and then if everything machines, how are we gonna make money to pay for all this stuff if we ain't gonna have no jobs? Like, right. One of the scientists the that's behind doing? making making the the robot type of things or whatever is saying that it's not a good thing because already with all the AI stuff, they saying that it's going to be able to outthink and outsource. Let me ask y'all a question. That that AI shit don't scare the hell out y'all. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, because it, it because it's becoming self because it's becoming self aware. That that's the see the whole idea. That's what Satan is. That's if you understand the idea of what Satan is or the adversary, because that's what Satan means. It, the whole idea is for it to become self aware against our self awareness, which is which is what kicked us out the garden in the first place. Right. So. So when you when you under, when you understand that it's like man like these people they like they don't even know what they playing with you right. know what I'm saying right right and because they're not going to be able to control it if they get so advanced how you gonna stop it and again they put this shit in the movies like the movies with Arnold Schwarzenegger and all that kind of crap because they're going to be so intelligent like you can mm -hmm. get an AI lawyer fuck going to pay somebody a couple of bands to do some shit you can sit at your computer on your phone and have them write you a legal binding document so just mm -hmm. take that amplify that by 10 you know and, and he tell me we should be they had already they did not already kick say they did not already kick some lawyers off of some cases because some lawyers that use gp chat or whatever ai they use to get case law and then when the when the judge went back to check them those cases never existed but they were so well written that they they actually the clerk actually entered it into the court that like part. this What's shit good? is getting, hold on yeah this shit gets good, crazy. Right, nay. nay go ahead hey yeah i just wanted to add and say um i want, want to kind of go back to where um she mentioned about the chip i just wanted to briefly touch that topic and say that they had already pre-programmed us because they inserted the chip on the card. I didn't think that was really necessary to put a chip on a card. So I felt like that was mm -hmm. already a self pre-programming. Okay, mm -hmm. yes, it's convenience, but it takes just a couple of more seconds to slide a card. So that's already pre-programming. So technically, with that being said, we are humans AIs in that sense, because then if they insert the chip in us, we are now being able to be controlled. We can be hacked. Any kind of device can be hacked. So right. with us inserting that chip, we are then now an AI or we can be hacked and took and took an advantage of. And far as I'm about the AI, I feel like those AIs at some point is going to turn against us too. They're not here for no reason. Right. They're not just here to serve us. They're here to serve another purpose. They're here for a reason and these immigrants too. But the yeah. AI, it's happening already. Yeah, think about the, this. The little, Ooh, the young hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who, wait, 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 wait. Who created the AI? The government. Okay, so thank yeah, you. the uh, the the DOD, uh, the DOD, yeah, the DOD, um, uh, the DOD mainly is mainly the DOD. Like they were the ones that created the heart system, uh, the AI systems, the internet. So that goes, so that um, goes in fact, you, you know, you you got your yeah. uh, fate in some it dangerous the, people's hands. Is what I'm trying to say. This it be the people that they contract hands. to build it. It'd be the people that they contract to build it, and when they don't work for them no more, they build it on their own, too. Got out. But see, it's people be in the face of it, like how um, Bill Gates, that nigga ain't created not one software. He brought the patterns from people who actually had the brain knowledge to create it, and now he's just the face of it. He the know, face, yeah. Yeah. And then when you try to leave him and go somewhere, yeah, else, just like uh, Facebook, uh, just like Facebook, Facebook wasn't Facebook was actually created by the uh, DOD, and when they cut their contract off, they gave it over to uh, Mark Zuckerberg like on the same day. 
And then all of a sudden we had Facebook. But it was created. And then we, all your information. Yeah, then all of a sudden your amazing. information started getting. Yeah, yeah, information starts. Yeah, because I've been on Facebook since 2007, and I remember in the beginning it was different from MySpace. You couldn't even put no fake name. You had to put your real government name on it. It's um, and it wasn't called Facebook when they made when they first made it. It was going to be called LifeLog, but then they changed the name. It it's a modern day census. Cause you know how everybody don't fill out their census form, right? But everybody gonna log on to Instagram, Twitter, whatever. No, it's not whatever. even just for the census. It's it's just for like the police. It's for the police. It's for the feds. You see, when everybody goes there and post illegal stuff, they go to prison. If you be in a state where you're not supposed to have a gun and you waving a gun, you go to jail. But you know what? Place where I mean, I can't have drugs it. on there, you go to jail. And I'm not gonna put everything straight on them on them even though they provide this stuff but at the same time just like the food back in the day our food has seeds that's for 11 11 but, y'all make a wish it's 11 11 make a wish long live as well okay. all right most high bless most high bless most high bless. Yeah, bless um but yeah just like with the seeds and the fruit that's organic that's natural that's alkaline that's, that's most high made right so back right. in the day people used to be like um i don't all of these seeds now you go to the grocery store you can't even find the seed grape all the grapes are seedless all of these watermelons are seedless because mm -hmm. people like the convenience thing. and they make it a point to tell you and they make it a point to tell you yeah got all these diseases and stuff yeah. you wonder why everybody got cancer and why people got gray hair early you wonder why you got all these different cancers because you be eating all this artificial and with the microwave stuff. Thing with the microwave that yeah. microwave was first tested in military right and the radiation on that them little dots that's in the front of the microwave is to keep the radiation from coming out so you you remember how they say don't look inside the microwave while you're mm -hmm. yeah but the little dots in front of it is to stop the radiation from getting out of the microwave but it's for our convenience Ooh, we say you cook it say you cook it you cook it <laughs> Nah, for real. Hold on, hold on one second, y'all. Hold on, Judy. What's good? Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? What's up? I ain't called in a long hey, time, Judy. Judy talk long to time, you. I know. I haven't been up here in a while, <laughs> but ahead, I just wanted to add real quick something. When um, so this was like last year. Um, I experienced a weird storm over here by my house, right? And and mind you. I've been saying this for years, even thunderstorms, just regular storms are not the same as they used to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember when I was a kid watching storms come through and it never scared me. But now, <laughs> even not even a hurricane or nothing major, just a regular thunderstorm. I'm telling you, I was outside <laughs> and it scared the hell out of me. It was nighttime. But when I walked outside, it was, it was, I felt like I was in a club with strobe lights. That was the weirdest shit I ever experienced. Like I had to drive my son to work. So I was scared <laughs> and it was like the lights just on and off, on and off. It looked like somebody was turning switches on and off. And it was so freaking weird. No rain, no thunder, but the lights was going crazy. And then by the time I came home, which was maybe in about 10 minutes, it started raining like that. I never seen rain like that. I swear to God, like <laughs> it was crazy. I couldn't get out of my car. I was scared to get out of the car. And the wind was so strong, everything was just flying. And this whole thing lasted for maybe like 20 minutes. And then all of a sudden it stopped. I was like, what the hell? Like, I have yeah. never experienced anything like that in the past. So I'd be telling that. people that even, even the weather is acting so weird now. It's not the same as it used to be. And people would be like, I'm crazy. But hey, I know me, I'm not crazy. <laughs> because, hey, let me ask y'all this. Yeah. Man, what, are those, what are those blue and purple street lights I've been seeing around the city? 
Blue and purple. Uh, that's, 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 that's probably five. Too. It's probably five G. It's probably five G towers. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's probably five G. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's probably five G. I mean, we don't know exactly, but right. you know that we do know that they use. We do know that they use uh electromagnetic waves to manipulate people. Um, we don't know exactly how. There's a there's a thing called the uh, hold on, Grump, hold Cubana on, Grump. culture vulture. My bad. Good. Culture vultures was good. Okay, pack it up. I don't know who that is. I didn't know who that was backstage. All right, my my fault, Grump. Go ahead. No, nah, you good. We do know that they use uh uh ultra. You know, they use the the spectrum, the light spectrum, to manipulate on certain levels. There's a thing. If you look it up, uh, it's called the Cuban. Uh, Cuban sickness. There was mm-hmm. a lot of people down there from the C- CIA and the military that that were getting sick mm-hmm. um, through these towers. Um, and so we know that they use these lights, um, and they use a lot of this technology to um, manipulate us. Now, how they manipulating us? I don't know exactly. Right. I'm still researching it. It's I'm still frequency. studying it. It's, it's the frequencies. Yeah, it's the frequencies. Yeah, it's the frequencies. So y'all, so y'all have been seeing them around the city. Those blue and purple yeah, street lights. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have. Just, okay. just wait till they start bringing in the smart cities. Wait till they start populating them, because you know they work. They're working on those. That's I guess what the happens. first smart city is going to be is in Maui. Yeah, Hawaii. Yep. Say that, yeah. Yeah. That's what that was about. What well, you know, they already got one in uh Saudi wow. Arabia. If you look at it, it's a if they already got one in Saudi Arabia. It's a long city. It's a long city. Look it up. Don't believe me. Don't believe neighborhood ground. Don't believe neighborhood ground. Just I'm telling you, there's a, a, a city, it's just a straight highway. And all on this highway, they got shops and houses and all this all other stuff. And it's one of the first 15-minute cities that they got where you can't get out of there. There hey, are no Chad, tributaries. Hey, hey, Ratchet. Hey, Chad. I'll be right back, bro. I'm going to sign off real quick. Salute, guy. Okay. All right. Salute. But I really think that after this eclipse, the next thing that they're going to do is start messing with the weather. I really think they already saying that the hurricane is going to be like explosive this year. Supposedly the hurricane is going to be really, really bad. And the, they supposedly are going to come to like Florida and Texas and all, all the, the bottom half of the States. So it, it's. Yeah. Like, they, well, they already been doing it. They that. already <laughs> been doing it. See, yeah. They already been catch. doing it. The Watch the better. Yeah. Catch. They already. If they tell mm-hmm. you something's gonna happen somewhere, how the fuck do they know it's gonna happen right there and how big it's gonna be? Because they're the ones doing it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's just obvious. Yo, it's gonna be hurricanes real big this year. Yeah, we know. Yeah. That's, That's what they're doing. My heart. Is, my heart. You know? and listen. My heart. My heart is so warm. My heart is so warm by everybody on the stage right now. Just the fact that everybody is paying attention. You know what I'm saying? And Thug, man, I got to appreciate you, man. Like, you bringing so many minds together. Man, this is beautiful to me, man, because I, I've been thinking about this stuff for over 20 years. Mm-hmm. And um, and just the fact that, you know, we're able to get on here and talk about it while we can, while we can. That part. Uh, man, this is, man, this is beautiful because you know, we need our people to to get this information. We need our people to get this information, man. And your courage is is insurmountable, bro. Your courage is insurmountable, bro. That's yeah. the most I keep blessing them, even when like last week with that BS. You feel what I'm saying? They was oh, like, yeah. they, you know, when when you doing doing right by the most high. That's when the the devil don't like it. So he coming in all shape, forms, and fashions. But the shit form, it just don't prosper. 
And that's mm -hmm. why that's why I say ratchet is the biggest. <laughs> yeah, that's that's uh, why who, I say ratchet ben, in the first place. <laughs> ben Bennisville. Who is Bennisville? And what's good? That's me. Right, what's good? What's good? I I want to I want to share something with y'all right quick. You know, you know, I see them street lights. I live in a small town in South Carolina. The population is probably like 200 people. You know, America is only 200 and something years old. It's like the newest the baby country. But them street lights, they all over the place. They putting them up for some reason. But, you know, who knows? But technology is making us lazy. Mm -hmm. People, people yeah. think the internet is, is, is convenient. It's convenient, but it's, it, it makes you lazy. You know, re reading reading a natural book, like being hands-on with stuff, that's what uh, muscleizes the brain, memory. That's what keeps you going. But the internet and everything else, like, you ever seen the movie I, Robot? Mm-hmm. A AI took over. So Will Smith in that movie, his wife got into him and his wife got into a car accident. The AI chose to save him instead of saving his wife because the AI was closer to him instead of his wife. So the AI is going to make decisions in a split second that you might think that you might need to do, but the AI is, is not is not like how in that movie. It, did, it didn't let him save his wife. It, it chose in a split second for him to basically live instead of his wife. Yeah. But, but let's go back. How many of us that used to know phone numbers, right? We didn't got so comfortable with these phones. I I I'm only remember my childhood grandmother's number because they was the same for 30 plus years but outside of that to this day i don't know my mother phone number right now if i ain't got yeah you just, no you just know contact you just know contact the easiest <laughs> way i get in some trouble i'm shit out of luck you hear me the easiest way to, to remember that is never save contacts just rememberize the, the phone number and I'm gonna be real. I, I can't remember nobody's phone number. Though. I, it don't matter if I, I look at the number. Yeah, really. listen. It's our. It's our contact. Listen. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. It's our contact for me. It's our yeah, contact for me. I can't even lie, family. <laughs> if I, I the ratchet, the only the only <laughs> numbers I, so the only numbers I know off the top of my head is my mom and my sister. I don't know nobody else in they, life now. I, I'm saying I can't think. I'm being serious. Well, I, I can't tell you one person number on earth. Other than them two numbers. The, the Same here. Hey, that brother, that brother, that brother made a good point though. Now think about this. Now, so Will Smith, he did a, he did that movie with I Robot, but I, he also did the movie of I Am Legend. He mm -hmm. did he also did the movie I Am Legend. So he's they're using him as a magic trick. Okay, remember Hollywood. First of all, what is a Hollywood? A Hollywood is a is a wand. It's a wand. It's a wand that you it's a wand that you wave around to cast a spell. And so they have to tell you before what they finna do. So so he did I he did I robot and then he did uh I am legend. And so they telling you that they trying to put something in a lot of these people that turn them into the earth, zombies. The earth. The Earth movie too. He did an Earth movie with him. And oh. and hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. We got somebody new in the building. Aaron, what's going on? Hey, what's going on, my guy? Go ahead. Nah, man. Uh, salute to you, Ratchet. Salute to I, you, man. I've been seeing how you've been, you know, about the CERN. How they trying to go up there and get the God particle, right? Yeah. Okay, check this out, man. You already know that in Revelations, man, they say to uh, let them that understand know that the mark of the beast is six six six, and it is a man. Well, you know, they were referring to us with the 666, the six uh, neutrons, the protons, and electrons. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, man, I would have thank you. Just think about it, man. Okay, 666. Six, six. six plus 6 is 12, plus the other 6 is 18. Then you do the 8 plus 1, that's 9. We are 9 ether people. That's we our DNA. People. That's oh, that's let them finish, y'all. Let them finish, y'all. Let them finish. Okay, that's our DNA. That's that's our number. Okay, then look at it. 4, 8. Okay, now the 4, 8, that's 12, right? 
the two and the four, the 24, that's six. Promise that goes me. right back to the 18, eight plus one, that's that nine. They trying to go get that, man, you understand me? Because they already know what time it is. Plus, we've been knowing, but here recently, if y'all been looking on it, on, on, on social media or whatnot, you understand, they've been putting up how Russia done exposed the pictures of all the black, you know, Jesus and everybody else, Moses and all of that stuff. Man, them folks, they have been playing games. Mm -hmm. man, but it all equal up. Too. Just think about that four, eight, and that twenty-four. That all equal up too, man. No, no, that's yeah. right. Exactly. And then if you look at the clock, how they taught us time, I've already exposed the clock. Say, man, say, man, ratchet, you own it, and all of y'all, you know what I mean, y'all own it, man. And it, it's even deeper, bro. And if the, and it, you know, our people, they've been so, you know, uh, they've been fed like our grandmamas and our mamas, and even some of the people today, man, that traditional preaching and thinking and everything else, man, and. That's not where it's at. You got to unlearn everything that you learned and start yeah, from scratch because it's all about our DNA and our genes. It's and it's the women, our, our women's Man, look. genes too. And now when you when you when you look at the Masonic clock and look how they taught us how to tell time and you go add every piece across from each other across the board, go 11, 1 and on and on. It's all going to add mm -hmm. a 10, 2, 12, 11, yeah. 1, 12, 9, 3. Yeah. Oh, nine four. Come on, you know, you know how to shoot. Nine, yeah, exactly, uh, man. Eight, exactly. Four, six five, six six. Come on, dog. And see, and see a lot. Six. Look, uh, what a, what people not tapping into, man. Like I see on the screen where it say about the pineal gland. You know, that, that's the seat of the Most High, man. When they said, just just think about it. They said nobody was able to see the Creator and live. And Jacob said, man, I seen the Creator and my life was preserved. And he named that place Peniel similar to the pineal mean he focused and tapped into his pineal gland and he seen the god reflecting within himself amen and, and, that, and that and that and that in that hebrew and that hebrew word and that hebrew word pineal means face of god yeah. exactly it means right. face of god that's exactly what it means yeah. amen it come on now and I'm come not, on now <laughs> not saying us but our people like as a whole in general we the only ones that's lost us who we are you understand me but they've been doing look in your hand how can we help you run water hey you know i came up with the conclusion today brass tv What's up? that i'm a snake what uh-oh uh -oh. they found out he a snake shut up ray nah See, this is why you talking Ryan, about you what you talking about, man? You're, you're a Ryan, snake. Ryan, we gonna pull your coat. Uh, Ryan, we gonna pull your coat. What man, you talking Ryan, about, you nigga? <laughs> uh, because look, people only like you when you're nice. People only like you when when you're a pet. So so sometimes people only like me when they can call me a pet and call me when I'm nice. But when I feel like somebody getting over on me, I strike. So I am a snake. At the end of the day. So, you know, a snake supposed to be in the wild. You know what a snake is capable of. So why would you bring the snake in your house? Because you only like it when you when he's nice and when you can control the snake. But when the snake get loose, then you mad at the snake. But you already knew what that snake was capable of, but you wanted to control the snake. You know what I'm saying? That because they had hidden agendas and secret <coughs> desires yeah, from the we get, they get what they you, you set up Mo3. Get out of here. We get Yeah. What, right. what, what the hell was that? Like, yeah, we 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 know what nah, we know what he on. See, he he trying to he doing that magic. He, he, he doing he that magic. It, that it, was it, a he, message. No, he's doing that magic. Yeah. He's doing that magic. Remember mm -hmm. what I talked about earlier? Mm -hmm. He's I'm, doing I'm, that magic. He's look. putting he put it in your face. He's put it in your face. So when it come out later, you can't, you know, you can't, you can't say that, you know, he, I'm at fault, you know, but no. We already knew yeah, no, no. We, we already ain't knew follow, that. We ain't follow. We ain't filing for it, bro. Let's get, let's get back, back on track. Let's get back on track. Look, I just back say, on track. And I want to say something else, man. They done tricked us so much, man, to where I'm Yahweh in the Old Testament, man, you understand me? You know, they say that Satan can disguise himself as a light angel or whatnot. And, and, and Satan was coming to Moses and them pretending to be God. That's why when you look in the New Testament and you see where Yeshua, he was, the, he was going against everything that Yahweh did. He told the people, he said, which of you, if your, if your children ask for water or food, will send a snake or will send a stone? If you do that, then you are evil. What did Yahweh do to the children of, you know, the Hebrew Israelites when they was when they was complaining to Moses about the food and the water? 
He sent fire receipts. He sent serpents. He, he sent serpents. He sent serpents to him. That's right. Moses, yep. Moses That's right. Praying, he told Moses, man, you know what? Then you make a you make a, a snake on that staff, and whoever we'll look at it, their life will be preserved. You understand me? Then he sent. Yeah, he was, he was mocking it. He was mocking him. He was yeah, mocking him. Exactly. He was mocking him. Yeah, he sent the stone. He, he sent the stone I? and told Moses, "Hey, man, speak to that rock, and I'm gonna bring forth water." But as good as Moses felt, he hit the rock. But anyway, I say that to say that Jesus went against all of that. Also, what did Yahweh tell him? It's an eye for an eye, right? What did Jesus say? Jesus came back and said, man, you may have heard that it was an eye for an eye and all of that, but I tell you that if somebody hits you, then to turn the other cheek. So that Yahweh character and all the man, Satan was coming, you understand me, and tricking the people. He was coming and tricking the people, man. So I got a question for everybody on the panel. Um, so they saying that the next eclipse, total eclipse, is going to be in 2045. You all think that's really gonna happen? I'm gonna like, tell you yeah. like this here. They got a heart program, sweetheart, where they've been controlling the weather and everything else, man. So whatever oh, they yeah. post, that yeah. just that, that, uh, that, that, yeah, yeah, I mentioned that. that I mentioned that earlier. I mentioned that earlier. Yeah, see, I just got yeah, all I mentioned that, that earlier in the program. And I, I see that y'all been on it. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, I see and I Yeah, I mentioned that earlier in the program. Yeah, I wanted to tap in last night, man, because I see that y'all been on it, man. You know, and uh, say, Ratchet, you've been in your bag, man. You hear me? I'll be in the bushes. You've been in your bag. Oh, no, thug on it. Thug yeah. on it. Thug yeah. on it, cuz. Thug on it, cuz. Thug on it, cuz. Thug on it. Same, <laughs> thug same on it. Son. Come on, man. It ain't adding up. Yeah, man, this shit not adding up, dog. It ain't adding up, man. And then, you know, they want to get this guy particle because for, for since the beginning of time, they've been trying to, trying to figure out how they exterminate our race, but the creator won't allow them to do it because everything that they done created, it affect their own people too. You, you know what I mean? But they came let me, the let me, let me speak on this. You ever heard of planning number room? Right, let me hold speak on, 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 on this. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on one second. We going to see this. We three hours in. We finna give everybody a chance to get their final shit off. So uh, we're going to start with my boy up at the top, Mr. 15th. Go ahead, man. What's your final thoughts on the day, brother? Man, I'm I'm just all over the place. It's just too much. They just everything's just a lie. I'm just gotta sit back, man. We're trying to watch the show and just see what happens, how it play out. Because not trying to be funny. A lot of things is out of my control, but I just know a lot of stuff is a lie. I don't believe nothing they say. Right. Salute to but, you. Hey, I uh, appreciate man. you for that uh two piece. We ten away from a hundred. No, I'm talking about when we five away. Salute to y'all. Appreciate you, Daddy Star. Salute. Uh, Shay, what you got for me, Shay? Yeah, just keep y'all eyes open um, and be open-minded. Unlearn everything that you were taught and stay pray prayed up and get right with who, whatever your most high is to you. Salute, Shay. I appreciate you. I salute you. Judy, what you got for me, Judy? I, I agree with Shay, but I just stay safe, everybody. Watch out for the next step, which is going to be all the bad weather, the earthquakes, and all the natural disaster, crazy stuff that's going to happen. Everybody stay safe and pray up. Salute, Judy. Salute. Thank you so much. All right. Bennisville, what you got for me? What I'm going to say is we got we to gotta deconstruct to reconstruct. I, I feel you. I agree with that. I agree with that wholeheartedly. Salute to you, brother. I appreciate you for pulling up. Appreciate you for having me. All right. Grump, what you got for me, Grump? <clears throat> I just want to say grace, mercy, and peace to everybody. You know, truly pray to the most high. Get yourself right. Support my man's channel. You know, uh, get the likes up. You know, hit, it, hit the cash app. Whatever you got to do to support this man. Keep them in your prayers and also pay attention, study, and be aware. Love you, thug. Salute, guys. Neighborhood Grump All right, Grump, salute. All right, Aaron, what you got for me, Aaron? Man, I just got, man, y'all stay focused on prosperity, man, and ask the most high for discernment and clarity. Ratchet, man, you keep doing your thing, man. Salute, bro. I appreciate you so much, man. I'll see you on the next one. Man, without a doubt. All right, salute. All right, no doubt. 
Yeah, man. Y'all, this was another eye open to Tyra Rowe. I appreciate you for that 20 piece McNugget. Got me over the honey bun. I appreciate you. Got me over the honey bun. And the honey bun is $100 for the people who don't know. Salute to the uh, Tyra. Thank you so much. Well, listen, y'all. This has been another eye opener, another eye opening episode of Ratchet TV where we are going to continue to cover CERN and what's going on in, in this world and the atmosphere. We're going to talk about uh, God. We're going to talk about the Bible over here. We're going to talk about uh, the, the world, the government. We're going to talk about all the corruption. We're going to talk about more police. We're going to talk about things over here that people don't want to talk about. We have to talk about the things everybody else is afraid to talk about on this platform. We have to continue to change one day at a time. I've come into a part of my life where, you know, I haven't always been, you know what I'm saying, the most godly. I haven't always been the most believing person, but there has been events that have opened my eyes up to know God is real. I don't give a damn what I've done in my life. I know he's real and I know he loves me and I know he's using me as a vessel to continue to, I have to do, and if I don't do this work, it's no point in me being so I do have work to do. That's why I work my ass off and I continue to do this every day. And I work myself, overwork myself because I can sleep when I die. I can sleep as much as I want to sleep when I'm out of here, man. Until then, I can't sleep, man. I have unfinished business. I'm still a work in progress. He's working on me right now. I am not perfect. I'm the furthest thing from perfect. I make a lot of mistakes. And he continues to say, I love you and get back up and try again. So until he's done with me, I got work to do. He ain't took his hands off me yet, and he ain't going to start taking his hands off me. That's why, you know, I mean, I'm in the positions that I'm in now. I definitely take heed to a lot of shit, and I definitely am doing my damnness to change. And that's what I'm going to continue to do. So one day at a time, we're going to work together, y'all. And I, I want to help everybody else out as far as, you know, a lot of people, that's, a lot of other people want to wake up. A lot of other people want to change their life and there's ways man i i was lost three four years ago before i started doing youtube i had no idea what the hell god had me here for i didn't even know that i should be here you know what i'm saying he he, he definitely never took his hands off me no matter i stressed worried panicked thought it was you know life just sucked or whatever man it, it was a better way and there's light at the end of the tunnel man i i used to dig in the couch for for pennies i used to be homeless you know what i'm saying i've been down and out in my life y'all i did a complete 180 changed my life around for the most part still working but look at me now i got so much shit in my name credit good you know i, I could ask for better things you know what I'm as far as you know what's going on around me but hey all in all i can't complain about my life man i can't complain about nothing man i, I i'm blessed and highly favored so i just say we got to continue to look at each other as brothers and sisters help each other pick each other up we all fuck up you ain't perfect you ain't better than me i'm not perfect i'm not better than you no matter how much money you got in your pocket no matter how much clout you got no matter what you do or don't have ain't nobody in this room different from each other we are all god's children and all of us are trying to make it to one destination right so with that common goal in mind i say we keep putting all our heads together and we continue to try to help each other change. And that's what I'm going to use my platform for. You use yours for whatever you want to. But I definitely am going to try to wake my people up one day at a time over here. I love each and every one of y'all. All the new supporters, I love y'all. Y'all are so welcoming. And, uh, you know, y'all are warm hearted, man. I, I like all the new people that came, man. This is probably the best new crowd I've ever gained. Because I feel like we're, we're getting a lot of God's children in here. We ain't doing the the BS arguing and getting on the panel and, and, and cussing each other out and talking about each other kids. Nah, that, that ain't the way to teach you the, the world. You know, and you do know your kids can open this app up and look at all this stuff. Right. So if any kids are watching my channel, I hope they watching and being like, man, I'm learning something over here. Mom, dad, I'm learning something over here, man. Like this is, this is some dope content. This is not something else you see on YouTube. And I feel like a lot of people wouldn't even use their platform to talk about God anyway, because a lot of people don't even believe in him. A lot of people have never felt his touch and know he's real. And he's definitely real. So I am not going to stop talking about God. I, I know he wants to be talked about. And he he's a jealous God, too. So, you know, that you know, you, you better talk about him. Nah, but all in all, man, use your platform and do some good. 
don't don't always i mean i know controversy sells but i've been talking about god for the past what two three days and you see the the views are there you can do this you can get clout while talking about something good you can not a lot now it doesn't work all the time because i mean controversy does sell but you can talk about things like this and still do numbers you can still get your shit off now i can go live about diddy and make about three or four or five hundred dollars a night or i can talk about god and make a hundred dollars i don't care like I, I i don't give a damn about the numbers I didn't even think that this would even do as good as it's doing. I had no idea, but I do know that I was going to do it regardless, and I wasn't going to stop. Something told, and I, I keep saying something, but I know it's God that's leading me to do this. I I just got up and just went out and just did what I did yesterday, man. And yeah, Ratchet Gang talked me into it, but God led me to the place that I went, and he keeps leading me to do the things that I'm doing every day. It's like he's just been talking to me. And I've been so emotional. When I say emotional, it's not nothing that's going on in my life. Just talking to God makes me cry, makes me just think about it. Like, I feel him. You know what I'm saying? And just the past couple of days just have changed me, man. So I just want to say I just pr appreciate y'all for all being up here listening to this. And it says, I love your lips. Somebody named Jack says, I love your lip, man. What the hell is wrong with y'all people, man? Look, thank you, I guess. But <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of weird, but no ditty. Uh, they said, thank you for being you. Look, I'm unapologetically me. Unapologetically. Uh, I'm not perfect, y'all. I think everybody knows that. I, I, I'm not. I'm not even trying to come off as perfect. I, I am who I am, and it's the way God made me. You either take it or leave it. I don't give a damn either way. So you're just feeling the essence. It's a wonderful thing. Yeah, I just, you know, God got his hands on me right now. I love this new ratchet. Yeah, I... I'm going to be real, man. Since that, that shit happened with me, I haven't looked at life the same. I haven't looked at a lot of shit the same, man. Since last, uh, what was it, last week? Now? Yeah, it was last week. That shit went on last week, and it just it changed me. You see, I haven't talked about the same stuff. Ever since I came back, I have not acted the same. Like, I've been, it's been a totally different Ratchet TV. And this is all you can expect moving forward. Am I going to have my moments where we're going to have some fun on here, and we're going to laugh and joke? And probably roast and shit. Yeah, we gonna we gonna definitely do that. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. We we definitely gonna gonna at some point do some crazy shit over here. You know, we this is still Ratchet TV. But for the most part, this platform is changing, and I no longer want to cover a lot of the stuff that I did cover. I'm leaving a lot of that shit in the past, and I'll I'll speak more on it later. Not this episode, but there's a lot of stuff I'm leaving in the past as far as the stuff I've covered. I I won't cover a lot of stuff that I covered over here, and I'm leaving it like that. I'm happy for the change. I love it. Yeah, this is this is the new and improved Ratchet TV. And this is what you can expect moving forward on this platform. I no longer got time for BS in this time. Like we on a time. We like I feel like time is ticking for us and we got to get this shit right, y'all. So let's continue to do this every day. Let's have these conversations. I'll be back tomorrow night with more and more and more and more. Y'all know I don't stop. This is just the way it goes over here. This big ratchet. You know what I'm saying? This is the best channel on YouTube. You don't get this kind of content nowhere else. So, hey, everyone, every one of y'all get in the comment section like y'all been doing. Y'all been killing the comments. I've been loving seeing all those comments after the video ends. So when this video ends, like the rest of them, said God spoke to me and said to stop looking up so much things of the wicked and, and focus more on him. You're you are not wrong. Nah, you right. Because things like pornography and things like that, you you're not supposed to watch none of this stuff. You supposed, but you got too much. And I tell people this all the time: you got too much idle time on your fucking hands. If you got time to text your girl all day, who you who you fucking who you who you do? If you got time to hit your dude up all day, what you got? What well, you obviously you got too much time on your hands. When you got too much idle time on your hands, you're going to sin. You're gonna fuck up. You're going to do something that you shouldn't have been doing. If you got time to lean, you got time to clean. Ain't that what they tell you at work? If you got time to lean, well, hey, you got time to clean. It makes perfect sense. Before you lean over this counter and get on your phone, why don't you wipe that counter down that your nasty back is sitting on? Get your back off the counter and wipe the counter down. Go do something positive with your time. If you go garden, if you go 
running, if you work out your body, if you work out your mind, soul, your spirit, everything, you won't have time to sit there and watch baddies. You won't have time to sit there and watch Jerry Springer. You ain't going to have time to sit there for five, seven hours a day on YouTube listening to other people argue when your life is shitty yourself. You listening to other people's shitty life when your life is shitty and you broke. So it don't make no sense. Get up, get you some money. Figure this life out. We don't got long. You sitting here 20, 30, 40, 50 years old and you still wondering what you what God got in store for you. Why don't you sit there and talk to God? Why don't you let God guide? Why don't you let God God, God, God guide you through life? Why don't you have a conversation with the man who created you? You don't want to do that. You rather focus on everything and the sins of this world. You focusing on shit that doesn't matter. Focus on your on your well-being, your kids, and uplifting your community or something. Stop focusing on stuff that doesn't mean anything. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't stuff that you can't even control. You can't control someone's choices of what they're doing with their free time. You got time, you got time on your hands to figure your life out. You can't figure out your life and mine. Don't work like that. I gotta figure out me. You figure out you and you figure out you and you figure out you. We can all come together. And, and, and you know what I'm saying change for the better hopefully not the worst but you know what I'm saying it is what it is man this is just my closing thoughts on the show I'm not right you ain't got to agree with me I could be all totally wrong I might have life all fucked up I don't know I just think that my way of viewing things is the right way but you know some people may think it's the wrong way and like I said don't let nobody judge you or tell you nothing I like if you Listen to me. I was homeless at one point. I didn't have shit to my name. Nothing. Nothing. I didn't have nothing but a video game system to my name. Going from place to place trying to figure out life. You know what I'm saying? Now I, I got a three bedroom house, brand new truck, all type of shit going good for me, bank account full of money. And to me, it's still not enough. Money doesn't make me happy. I don't give a damn how many thousands and thousands of thousands I have in my bank account. I've been dead ass broke. I don't, that means nothing to me. I don't spend money like that, like that. Cause I know how it feels to know, not know what I'm gonna eat the next day. You understand what I'm saying? So I've been here before y'all. I just hope that, uh, this message is resonating to somebody. Hopefully it helps y'all out. If not, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, but I definitely have been talking to God more and I definitely am trying to become a better person. So I just hope this content is what y'all want to hear moving forward, because if so, this is what you're going to get. If not, I don't know what to tell you. Find somewhere else to go because we're going to have these type of conversations. I'm not doing the the BS no more. So I love y'all, man. I love y'all more than y'all will ever know. It says you have to go through to come through. That's facts. That is big facts. And I do love the new crowd that's coming, man. I hope all y'all, uh, we almost to 122,000. We are, we got 150 subscribers to get to 122. We hit 121,000 last night. So we almost thousand subscribers today. We need 150 people in the room right now. 150 people smash that subscribe button and get over here to ratchet TV. The who is journalist. If you want to grab a membership, grab a membership. We finna get up out of here. I'm about to play some music and we are going to call it a night. You know, I love each and every one of y'all more than y'all will ever know. This is your boy, Big Ratchet. I love y'all, each and every one of y'all. And uh, I'm out, y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow. We'll have another conversation. I got to I gotta get some sleep, man. I'm tired. I love y'all. I'm out, gang. Tone bite. Take it all back to when it started Life for the party Right where my heart is As soon as I won't come in I'll see anything go On the road, cool, ride around with a top dog I don't want to go to the side that I just ride around She was drunk abuse from a broken heart Oh, oh. Got a bit of addiction, I've been drugging
this tax invasion. I ain't discussing business, not over the phone. Need a phone, really patient. Relocate, I'ma switch location. Tell me I need me a spot where it's hanging. Where I'm from, I'm a dead ass baby. Never give up, try again like playing. Bitch, niggas still hating, this shit still sinking. Titanic, a watch gon' save my life. They can't get that plank in. Like I'm too late, and I know I'm still great in spite of my mistakes. You know it's authentic every rhyme I say. My only regret is I made niggas wait. See, ain't too many like us. We like Venice bait, and I don't fuck with busters. I can't integrate. Grew up with these killers in my living space. A lot of niggas folded through them village days. Citywide gang injunction, police raids. L.A. Times rolling sixties made the front page. I vowed to never let tradition seal my fate Selling dope with hopes to graduate to real estate I knew I was drumming to a different beat Felt it in my stomach, I was just unique We decided we gon' let these visions speak Then we turned Swanson into Venice Beach Essex on it, made back platinum dealer plates Wake up in this penthouse to the cityscape You know it's authentic, every shit I say I knew self-destruction ain't the only way Sometimes perfect time and feel like I'm too late But I know you still great in spite of your mistakes Before you run your race, you gotta find the pace Just make sure you cross the line and fuck the time it takes I got out the county jail 2008 Couple months I dropped the tape, then I was on my way My first single out and set the streets ablaze On location, shot that video in front of the cage Trying to find my way through this fucking maze Every concert, hundred niggas on the stage but still active, so it's really just another day. The mode is paranoid, the book you out affects your pain. And when you stop eating, that affects your weight. And when you get hungry, that affects your brain. See me, I'm not tripping, I respect the game. I hope y'all do, if I can't make it, I'm gonna take a chain. See, ain't too many like us, we like finished bait. And I don't fuck with busters, I can't integrate. I know perfect time, it feels like I'm too late. But every single time I drop, they tell me I'm the great I know perfect time, it feels like I'm too late And I know I'm still great in spite of my mistakes You know it's authentic every rhyme I say My only regret is I made niggas wait I know perfect time, it feels like I'm too late And I know I'm still great in spite of my mistakes You know it's authentic every rhyme I say My only regret is I made niggas wait Daddy Houston Summers and wave runners Chains on my niggas like slave runners Drug dealers anonymous How many Madonnas can that monster fit? My brick talk is more than obvious It's ominous, garage is the phantom Ghouls, ghosts, and goblins Blonde mohawk, the collection I'm Dennis Rodman The money count is the only moment of silence Cause hush money balances All this drugs and violence Hat trick on 
under my mattress Did I stop still has an asterisk after it After all, I can make a call I can baptize a brick As I wash away my sins like a Catholic Who the fucking master this America's nightmares in Flint Children of a lesser God when your melanin's got a tint And I can't even mention what I sent or what I spent Cause my name in 18 wheelers is evidence I put my foods in them cruise collections Like this likes a bitch, A to Z on her shoe collection Take your pick, paid in full like 86 G's on my body The new Gucci has less monogram, God got it Let he without sin cast the first stone So I built that all glass quad level first tone Shatter all of your misconceptions, hold all of the missing weapons You thought I would miss my blessing, the ultimate misdirection yeah, yeah. Your husband was a drug dealer. For 14 years, he sold crack cocaine. Uh. Federico Fellini in the flesh. Sergio Ciccini inside his mesh. Bitch, I've been bracking since the 80s. Google me, baby, you crazy. 89 in London pulling bins up. Type it in, Google's your friend, bruh. 14 year drug dealer is still counting. Who deserves the medal of freedom is my accountant. He been hula hooping through loopholes, working round shit. IRS should have had the townhouse to surround it. Thanks to the lawyers, I marbled the foyer, I tore the floor up, yeah. That's for the toy fish. We've been dining on oysters. I walked through the garage, just like multiple choices. I told him pull a Royce up. I'm getting ghosts. I'm hearing noises, I think it's the boys, but I've been thinking it does We got store fronts, we got employee stuff We've been opening studios and 4040s up The paper trail is gorgeous, cases we bury some Before a reasonable doubt drop, the jury hung Bling bling, every time I come around your city bling bling My tenure took me through Virginia, ask Teddy Rowley about me Ask the federalities about me, try to build a cell around me Snatch my nigga Emory up, try to get him to tell about me He told 12, give me 12, he told him to go to hell about me Drug dealers anonymous, y'all think Uber's the future, our cars been autonomous Mules move the drums, take them to different spots We just call the shots by simply moving our thumbs I'm a cause of miracles with this shit Nothing real can be threatened Nothing unreal exists Therein lies the peace of God I always knew I was a prophet But I couldn't find a decent job Life made me ambidextrous Counting with my right Whipping white with my left wrist Damn, Daniel FBI keep bringing them all white vans through Never would, I throw some shade on no nigga. On team, little nigga don't play with these niggas. 
I see the big picture, we up on these niggas. The huncho, the one you gon' call on me, nigga. I got your back, you gon' follow me, nigga. When I get up, we gon' ball on these niggas. Fuckin' shit up, cause we beat out the system. Fuck the system. I bought for 16 passenger. This a G5, no, this not a challenger. Big one. I keep some members with me in the fridge. Get coat seats, they some cannibals. Eaters. They like the geek, geek. Drink a whole bottle, wake up and repeat. Damn. She took a look, mixed it with the chill out. Now she say she saying 3D. Wow. I go in the jungle and then got a coat. I bet I come out with a me. I bet I do this shit for the fam. Put this shit bigger than me. Three. Color stones in my infinity link. And in the factory masterpiece. I call on twin, could that be my brother? We got the same roller, he matching me. Back to moon